for glory. All our brothers in arms fill the fire. We're conquerors, never back down. The battle tells our story of survival. The challenge will never be over. This is the race, it's not the end. Can't see what's written tomorrow. Some call it fate, but one thing I know. This time I will be in control. Oh, I'm caught in the fray, but we'll survive. The battle, won for glory. All our brothers and arms fill the fire. Hello, selamat petang dan selamat ujung minggu. Akhir Jumaat tu, ujung minggu. Lakan salam Jumaat juga kepada semua orang. Dan uh, ya, yeah. so jadi kita uh, kembali dengan lagi satu hujung minggu di mana kita akan ada uh, kita akan ada aksi super weekend kita. Saya ni aksi super weekend yang pertama lah kan. So good news untuk screen kita ni. Yang paling penting adalah aku jumpa the uh, Dark mode uh, untuk Wheel of Shikin ni. So I think the dark mode ni okay lah. Anywhere aku pergi kan, anywhere offer me a dark mode, I will take it. Dark mode is a must, please. Any application dalam dunia masa kini gunalah dark mode. Dark mode adalah sangat best. So aku tak kena flashbang. Orang yang tengok semua ni pun tak kena flashbang. I'm waiting for the time bila Liquipedia ada dark mode. Uh, bila Liquipedia ada dark mode, okay, great. Absolutely great. Uh, aku akan go dark mode all the way. In fact, kalau macam aku ada phone and then aku punya browser semua lah kan. Mana boleh dark mode, I go all dark mode. Dark mode. Mana yang boleh dark mode. Phone semua pun dark mode sekali. But hello everybody dan uh, Mama Lin, thank you for the share. Azrul, Atmal, hello, hello, hello. So hari ni kita punya uh, fun and santai and chill segment kan. Uh, kita namakan sebagai Wheel of Shikin. So siapa-siapa yang first time tengok Wheel of Shikin ni adalah di mana kita akan uh, spinkan wheel ni lepas tu kita akan letak siapa uh, 16 sampai 1 untuk super weekend uh, then sepanjang super weekend nanti masa kita buat kita punya post show tak berlesen kita akan buat perbandingan one by one lah untuk uh, kita punya tim-tim uh, uh, kita yang kita letak siapa kita uh, siapa susunan yang wheel of skin dia bagi and all that lah kan so it's just a fun segment Uh, Lawrence, thank you for notify. So, ini lebih kepada fun segment lah. And, uh, at the same time, kita pun akan cerita pasal predictions lah kan. So, two in one. Kita cerita pasal predictions. And, uh, Wheel of Shikin ni, dia akan guide kita jugalah. So, uh, kita akan ada, let's say, kita ada pendapat kita sendiri. And then, kita kena cari jalan untuk bersetuju dengan Wheel of Shikin. Nah, kalau tak, no point untuk kita buat Wheel lah kan. So, itu adalah konsep Wheel of Shikin. And, dia ada day untuk fun-fun je. 
Ha, macam uh, Syafiq Musa dia dah follow selama 455 hari Lepas tu Lawrence dah follow selama 413 hari ha, Semua jadi 400 lebih hari ni Terbaik, terbaik Okay, so kita mula daripada 16 sampai 1 Tapi uh, Yang ini adalah untuk sepanjang Super Weekend Maksudnya kita akan simpan list ni Untuk sampai habis Super Weekend And then kita akan buat comparison Comparison, comparison macam tu lah uh, anyway, thank you for the share, Lawrence. Kita ada Nur Azwani, Pak An Mohde, thank you for the share. Rifki Muzami juga thank you for the share. Dan uh, thank you sebab jadi follower yang baru. Kita ada Muhammad Zain dan juga Pak An Mohde jadi follower yang baru. Terima kasih. Hello Aisyah, how are you? Uh, so, Aisyah pun dah follow us, flexing sikit. Iaitu 536 hari. Wow! Lebih daripada game 400. Dan kita ada Pak Is Aisyah pun dah follow 71 hari. Mantap guys, Route to 100 Okay, let's pin nama yang pertama Let's go, kita start daripada bawah sampai atas lah ya eh. Oh, Fahlia Kuzaini, thank you for 559 hari Dia pun tengah flexing tu Ooh. Okay, so interestingly uh, Roda bagi axis red one dekat bawah ya eh. So this one is quite interesting Um I, I won't put them dekat bawah at this point. I will put them paling uh, paling paling low pun I will put them somewhere in the middle lah kot. Sebab kalau kita tengok dia orang punya playstyle, Axis first pick up. I know right Aisha. Uh, this one is okay. We go with the personal pendapat dulu lah kan. Personal pendapat, I think like Axis red one. Dia orang at least lah paling paling pun lah kan. At the end of the super weekend, dia orang ada dekat tengah dan Okay, so because Dora punya playstyle, kalau kita tengok uh, Dora agak safe juga in terms of Dora punya playstyle So I think it's it's okay uh, Agak safe punya playstyle If you say safe punya playstyle, see you in the final circle Jumlah kill Dora pun tak berapa dah baik Except for that last game lah kan uh, And the irangle and all that, that one was like, you know Dah just buat je um, I think at least they will get a mid-table finish lah in terms of kalau kita tengok dia punya playstyle. It's not a it's not a league winning punya playstyle, tapi at least dia boleh ada dekat tengah tengah. Okay, tapi kalau kita perlu, tak kita perlu lah, kita perlu bersetuju dengan uh, Will of Shikin. Tapi sebelum tu Ahmad Darwish thank you for the share. Kita perlu bersetuju dengan Will of Shikin. Di mana kalau kita nak bersetuju dengan Will of Shikin lah kan? Then I would say uh, Nak kata dia orang cari gaduh dengan siapa-siapa masa Liga tu masa macam tak ada Tapi kalau apa yang letakkan dia orang ada dekat sini Is that dia orang akan buat macam You know remember the Super Weekend ketiga of uh, PMPR MYSG lah kan So dia orang main dengan emosi Dia orang uh, buat benda-benda yang dia orang tak, tak perlu buat Bukan tak patut buat, tak perlu buat so, the only thing is that Yang aku dapat kalau Yang apa yang meletakkan Axis Red 1 dekat bawah The only thing is Kalau Kalau uh, Dia orang main dengan emosi lagi sekali lah Kalau dia orang main dengan emosi lagi sekali Then mungkin dia orang akan ada dekat bawah ni uh, It's the only thing lah So So Super Weekend again is the trial of the trial lah kan It's the trial of paling uh, Paling All out punya for all the teams So uh, it's the paling trial sekali So Kalau paling trial and then dia buat axis triggered and then I guess axis akan ada dekat bawah lah So asalkan Asalkan dia punya decision making tak triggered they should be fine Tapi kalau triggered then mungkin akan letakkan dia orang dekat bawah ni lah kan They might go all out for Super Weekend So Aisyah you're saying they is everyone you say everyone then yeah Because Super Weekend is where everything Where it matters the most lah kan Even more lah kan uh, Iza pun ada WhatsApp sebab hadir untuk tengok Bila Shikin Thank you dah perlu 70 hari juga uh, Iza thank you for the share uh, Daniel XP Sun pula pun share kan Terima kasih Maksud tengok Axis no.20 tak pun baru ramai lah Jadi no.16 uh, So kita Super Weekend 16 team je So you mean Axis they might all out? Yeah they might um, I think what they did Untuk weekday is the all out dah except for the last few games so it's the same concept like what we talk about dah kan uh, a few times again like it's the last few games macam you got nothing more to play for and then that's why you go like you go like 
you know main pun tak ada otak lah kan so uh, but of course kalau kita kata a super weekend then everyone will 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 bagi dia the full potential lah untuk super weekend kind of expect that so we'll see but uh, so far that's my only explanation kalau letakkan axis dekat bawah sekali lah because they're already placed for weekday so we can auto cari darah so what if auto cari darah what if auto cari darah and then that puts them at 60 like you know if the concept of like if it's not broken you don't fix it kan so what if they are auto cari darah and then letak dekat 60 because when it's not broken you don't fix it what if what if lah uh, I'm giving the what if Ah, uh, so so Aisha is is like okay what if sebab tu then dia orang letak dekat nombor 16 lah kan the what ifs Ah, uh, ban- banyak what ifs ni lah kan Uh, tapi tak apa Izzah, typo tak apa uh, It's okay, jangan typo dekat mulut sudah, tiba uh, Dan uh, Papa Mos pun dah hadir, WhatsApp Dan uh, kita ada New Norris pun dah puluh seratus tujuh puluh empat hari Terima kasih Mereka semua dah follow dah lama tu So I guess that's why, that's the only explanation aku ada lah Kalau letak Axis dekat bawah tu Hopefully Axis boleh play more firepower to focus on rotation masa weekdays Maybe that is what letak dia orang dekat situ Kan? Mana lah tahu kan? What if? What if? What if benda tu yang meletakkan dia orang dekat bawah? Kan, devil's advocate kan? Okay, so APG Esports, nombor 15 plus. So, anyway, Izza, thank you for notifying. So, Aisha, you always stand by with what ifs. Yeah, there's a lot of what ifs lah kan? I mean, we're talking about a game yang melibatkan 16 team in a round. This is like if like you talk about like uh one v one punya games like and like fighting games, ataupun like moba, it's like a one team versus one team. Then it's like a little bit easier to kurangkan the what ifs. But this one enam belas team is just too many what ifs like and so we pan out all the what ifs. Ah, uh, tapi itulah itulah kita punya rancangan kita lah like, kan kita akan letak semua what if what if what if. Ah, uh, and then ah uh, can debate sampai habis show lah. Sampai habis PMPL, uh, sampai habis tonight show baru kita akan betul-betul tahu. Yeah, that is the that is the debate of all the what ifs of all the kebaran kalian yang ada. Uh, belum lagi enam belas tipe kebaran kalian, and then you add on lagi uh, circle punya kebaran kalian and loot punya kebaran kalian. Whether you get good stuff or not, lah like, kan? So benda-benda macam tu pun terlibat juga. Whether you get enough bomb ke or whatever, lah like, kan? All the what ifs. They terlalu banyak what ifs. This This game is the lalu banyak what ifs. You love debate, Aisha. Hmm. Your boyfriend better be careful. Eh, tiba kan? Uh, Papa Mas, orang dapat baca APG gameplay. APG not blessed with the circle at all. In the end, ends up number 15. Um, so that's one thought. Kan? Orang dapat baca APG play gameplay. Because it like... APG is not like the top lah kan? Tapi diorang punya... Diorang punya rising... Diorang punya... I think they are the most rising star lah for now, kan? Uh, like a no, uh, almost nobody team or team that who who is this lah macam tu lah kan? Ah, uh, orang one of the one of the rising stars, one of the rising stars coming from a country. Even let's say kalau kita kata MS Chomburi lah kan? Kalau kita kata MS Chomburi, at least they are datang daripada Thailand. Like the country ada reputation, the country ada reputation. So, ah, uh, but for APG. I mean, wildcard. No disrespect for the wildcard, but wildcard is not the best reputation, lah, kan? Um, it's not the best of reputation. So for them to sampai to to tahap ni, I think uh, they are one of the most rising star teams. Kalau kita ambil like statistically and some of the theories we put it together, lah, kan? So they are like one of the rising star player teams. So naturally, if you're like rising star ke, or if you're like on the top, lah, kan? People will be looking at you. So maybe macam Papa Mas punya orang dapat baca APG play gameplay is is boleh uh, boleh pakai number 15 uh, Blessing of the Circle I mean Blessing of the Circle I think semua-semua pun kalau boleh semua lah Blessing of the Circle lah kan but that is untuk justify the open 15 spot do you think dia orang akan ada dekat 15 spot ke tak? I won't be too surprised. Okay, kalau personal prediction pun, I think it won't be too surprising kalau APG ada dekat bawah ni. I think that the orang the what if another what if effect lah kan? Another what if effect is that the what if the orang uh, rising star because the last few games too because the rising star like what day number two lah kan? 
the last few games tu team-team yang dah selesa dekat atas it's like whatever lah kan like aku dah selesa lepas top 12 so I don't really care about I don't really care about moving on lah kan so APG yang APG I take advantage of that so that puts them a bit higher as the rising star tapi bila reality, back to reality that super weekend is the all out weekend for all the teams then APG macam oh kena balik diorang so I won't be too surprised kalau diorang macam 15 spot lah I, unless diorang prove that in super weekend they're really consistent the next wheel of chicken uh, then it will change kita punya prediction method uh, predictions lah kita So Mamali negeri apa super weekend is where points accumulated to grand final so all teams will play to secure their place yeah they will like because you won't know next super weekend you'll be playing or not lah kan so you don't want to take that risk lah kan risiko tu terlalu tinggi apa pun uh, Firuz Osman Mama Afis thank you for the share juga uh, Izan Ado every wheel of chicken kena ada what if so kita sentiasa meramalkan banyak benda dan berlaku atau bakal berlaku dalam PMPL yeah this is where kita punya discussion comes in lah kan So Roland, hello. How am I today? I'm okay. Uh, baru bangun tidur macam best. Tak nak baru-baru sangat. Like bangun and reply some stuff. And rumah dah ada air. Yay! So sempatlah pergi isi baik tong air and all that lah kan. In case mana tahu nanti petang nanti putus kan kan. So isi balik everything. Yeah. So sempatlah buat some of the house, house chore stuff. Papa uh, Mama say PG kena rata by gig fan kat sana sebab drop sebelah sebelah Hmm. Jangan turun dekat mana lah dekat Sun Hawk. So, Gig, I assume that diorang turun balik dekat Ruins lah kan. Rumah L? Is it? I, I didn't pay so much. I, I mean, I don't know. Except for the one, the graphic yang... Yang... What the meta provide lah kan. But... But if we think about it lah kan. I don't know if it's going to be fixed. Ataupun they're going to... They're going to like just rojak it. Just like macam hari biasa lah kan. So, still kena tengok macam mana. Your boyfriend either being proposition or being agree all, all the times. I see Aisha. I can see that. Kalau tak debate will never end lah kan. Kadi so hello, good evening. Oh, petang sangat good evening tu tapi hello semoga sihat-sihat selalu. Ah uh, dan kita ada oh Roger Terong, thank you for 30 stars. Roger Terong is in the house guys. Ah uh, jangan bagi dia makan terong sudah. So when would I put APG lower or middle table? Aisha, I will still put lower lah for now. Until until kita tengok the super weekend performance, then that could change my mind. But APG, I still put at the lower lah. So macam this this sort of position tu not too surprising for me yet. Uh, Joji in the house. What's up, Joji? Ah, uh, temu pai tak sabar nak lihat gameplay dan rotasi tim Peter by Asal dan Matt Sun Hawk. Yeah, kita akan tengok Matt Sun nanti whether is healing punya Sun Hawk. Ataupun dia akan main lawan punya Sun Hawk ke or which one. So let's see what, what's going to happen. So APG kan tambang. Oh tambang like sebelah je lah kan. Okay. It's going to be impacted by circle lah kan. Okay lah kan. Kalau circle ke kanan then maybe jarang jumpa sikit. Tapi kalau circle ke atas mungkin dah ada uh, chop point dekat jambatan bawah lah kan. Jambatan jambatan camp alpha lah kan. Unless Geek dah halau APG from there in screen. Hmm. Geek doesn't seem to be that kind of people lah kan. They don't like, okay, not not the fan, not the fan of lawan awal kind of people kan. Kenville, orang mana Kenville? Uh, aku orang KL. Anyway, Roger Terong, Joji, thank you for the share. Okay, so let's go for the next one. Jom, kita pusing next one. Oh, okay, interesting. So, Wheel of Chicken letak D Xavier. Hmm. You know D Xavier lah kan? Uh, ada a little bit of the the APG feel for me lah kan? In, in, I don't know, they're around doing the Infinity ataupun they're around doing the APG. So, doing the Infinity maksudnya dia macam okey lah, dapat top 16, cukup-cukup lepas and they're fine lah kan? Ataupun they're around doing the the APG whereby Dora pun ambil kesempatan ke atas tim-tim lain yang dah yang nothing to play for for day nak for for the second day of the weekday lah kan like enough top 16 and then you can see like the team macam macam dah lepas tu dah macam eh dah main chill lah kan and then Xavier macam take advantage of that so Danish kesan dia hello I'm fine thank you uh, 
Dizaver uh, ni macam dingos Rasa macam dingos eh. Dingos Dingos the other way around Dingos macam okay Atas macam okay okay sikit And then the last few days Diorang macam turun Dizaver macam Diorang macam BTR lah kan Diorang macam Diorang tak start well Diorang macam tak berapa nak cun Tapi diorang macam naik atas balik So I think Dizaver pun ada macam Like the Like the APG feel Di mana diorang macam Second day the, the the few games the second day the few games tu they were macam boom and they were like atas lah kan. Cepat pun was not surprising for you sebab first day week they struggling ya mana all teams are like, going for points. Yeah I think so. So like imagine like kan like the first day is like the day yang macam teams uh, generally teams macam all out. So in an all out scenario, uh, the Xavier they were macam uh, tak boleh nak cope dengan the all out scenario. Bila the second day dah Half of the teams dah macam ah kita dah macam whatever lah kan, ah uh, then and that's when Dzaver boleh naik. So it feels like the APG. So kalau it feels like the APG, I think quite justified yang Dora ada dekat bawah juga lah kan. Uh, we know their potential, but that is what kita nampak dekat weekday lah at least for first weekday tu. Tadi Dzaver uh, first time playing C kan. Uh, uh, Aisha no not first time. Dulu macam apa was kata dia orang nama HVNB. And then kalau tengok dia punya player semua Lamborghini and all that, they are not new players, itu semua play all time. So, um, so yeah, so dia orang bukan first time. Tapi Nova para boy, fun fact, this is the strongest team in Vietnam. Yeah, um, yeah, itu is quite factual. It, actually, kita ada go through itu juga sebelum-sebelum ni. Uh, that's why it's quite surprising. Dia orang macam like, like being, being somewhat like the BTR juga lah kan. Like you are, you are runaway winners for PMGC slot dekat Vietnam tapi their performance is not up to expectation so in fact Vietnam teams in general uh, not so juga dan kita ada V Gaming juga yang tak masuk lah kan uh, thank you Papa Mwaz that is it. that is the perjalanan dia orang Xavier to HVNB sebab so, HVNB dia orang uh, collaborate with one of the famous uh, personality dekat situ that's why dia orang tukar nama tu HVNB In fact, the personality name, I think it's called HVNB, if I'm not mistaken lah. And then, tukar pada Dzavier pula, and then tiga season dah main C. Yeah, so, uh, so memang dia orang not new. Uh, dia orang not new. Z- si Xavier in season 2, dia orang memang not new. So, this time dia orang uh, gabung dengan Dingos. So, that's why kalau korang tengok page uh, Dingos Esports, ada nama dia orang. Anyway, so Eagles. Ooh. Hmm. Yang ni eh. Justify ke tak untuk ada dekat bawah? I think this is going to be like one of the mid-table punya team at least lah kan. One of the mid-table punya team. Uh, you remember Xavier was type pernah tertekan button tembak masa tengah slow-slow crawling ke Xavier? Oh, that's how you remember them, lah, kan? I think, I think Eagle, I think Eagle is more like a mid table, lah, kan? Daripada like nombor 13, kalau in in personal opinion. But what would put them down dekat 13 is, I think, kalau ada dekat 13 tu, could it be like, so ada orang like the highlight moment ada orang is betul betul like. That one chicken dinner lah kan, that one chicken dinner diorang dapat is the highlight moment. So katakan kalau diorang tak ada that one chicken dinner punya highlight moment dan mungkin diorang akan ada dekat bawah. So, I guess this Eagle diorang tak ada X Factor for me. Eagle diorang tak ada X Factor for me, so mungkin mungkin itu akan meletakkan diorang dekat bawah kot, like on the second half lah kot, I guess. Because without, without the X Factor and then you're going up against like Team-team yang macam besar-besar macam ni lah kan Banyak team besar, banyak team yang yang kuat And let's not forget juga yang Super Weekend is Di mana team akan Kebanyakannya akan all out lah kan So maybe that's what's going to put them dekat middle Bawah lah kan uh, Tapi Anas pun ada 295 hari Anas dah follow hmm. Eagles rasa macam mid table tapi last C boleh tahan juga performance dia orang. Yeah, I I I I don't know. Dia macam dia macam boleh tahan performance tapi dia tak ada X factor tau. So I I don't feel the X factor daripada Eagles. I feel like maybe a mid table 
because tak ada expector i don't know dia dia tak bagi like the vibe of macam oh this team macam ini boleh batai ni you know that sort of feel like some teams macam you they didn't really perform but you can feel like okay this team macam they, they can go for it lah kan ah uh, they can go for it like 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 axis like they they have their moments of macam you don't know what they're doing but you know that dia orang macam go for it lah kan so so something like that so so like the eagles is like the opposite now it's like oh yeah like they they did it tapi macam 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 don't have the expected so macam papa suka ada macam a bit logic lah kalau penting yeah I, i i i do feel that macam boleh justify penting juga lah kan macam boleh justify juga ni so 13 tu macam macam boleh justify lah it does have that feel juga lah kan uh, izo ashari thank you dah follow 64 hari dan uh, kamu syah azri uh, okay Fidaus, baru masuk ni, ni apa prediction ke? Uh, ni Will of Chicken boleh katakan prediction lah. Prediction, boleh boleh anggap sekali prediction lah juga. So, kita borak pasal prediction Roda dan prediction kita sendiri. Okay, so kita kita move on. That's still kind of logic untuk, untuk Eagles kat situ lah. Evos of Face Clan. Face Clan, ngam ngam, okay. So Face Clan, hmm. justified. Face salah boleh blame Will. Yeah, anything kita blame Will lah kan. Now we have a channel untuk kita macam okay, tolak tolak ya, tolak tepi je. So Face Clan dekat dua plus lah ya. Eh. Yang ini, okay, dia orang tak perform. Like it, it's not like that. Dia tak perform to the hype yang dia orang ada, kan? Like, okay, bocah aja Tony K is like the only superstar, and then dia ada Vin, dia ada Vin Torres like play otai, and then dia ada brand name Face Clan. Face Clan, in case kau tak tahu lah, kan? Face Clan dekat CS GO is a nama yang sangat 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 besar in FPS game, PC FPS game dekat Europe is sangat besar. Is uh is level level yang macam Alliance, level level macam Secret. Level-level OG is sangat besar, sangat besar dekat FPS uh, game dekat Europe dan juga Amerika. It's very big. So the thing about be- pegang nama besar and then bawa kepada sini, the nama and then the 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 performance tu macam tak tak jive lah kan? Dia macam tak tak sing macam tu. Pesta pun macam tak komisi. Ia dapat cikap pun macam lucky je, papa muas. Yeah, I know right. The chicken pun okay, it, it's it's fun, it's a no look chicken lah kan. But dia ada banyak buts dia tau, dia ada banyak buts dia. For the most part, sebenarnya orang tak perform, kan? Tony K pun a few times kena culi awal, and you know Tony K, uh, there's a lot of hype around Tony K lah kan. Sebab jadi yani first season dia boleh main dekat C, last season dia tak boleh nak main sebab umur tak cukup lah kan. So this first season dia boleh main dekat C. Tapi before that, Azmin Dharma, thank you for the share. Tapi kalau kita tengok Face Clan, uh, macam Tony K, you know it reminds me of apa tau? It reminds me of Psycho, Psycho untuk Homeboys. Macam, oh dia ada banyak hype lah. Like Psycho because dah dua team uh, for multiple season dia perform, tak kira team apa lah kan. And then bila sampai kepada the the time yang kita perlukan Psycho to perform dia macam uh, sikit untuk kita. So it feels like macam Tony K has the same vibe, macam hmm, dia doing the Psycho macam tu. It feels like macam uh, I expect more daripada not only Tony K tapi the entire face clan but they orang just not up to it so I think 12 ni quite justifiable juga lah right yeah quite justifiable lah. I can I can sort of agree dengan Chicken you know what this is the first time kita dapat a lot of agreements dengan Will of Chicken tau biasanya kita akan macam no it cannot be tapi macam a lot of it macam kita dah <laughs> kita getting the agreement No, but if they can perform on their league, but come to see they flop. Oh, they got Thailand, lah, kan? Yeah. So I, I don't know why. Padahal they orang banyak hype on the opposite side, big brand name Tony K, Vin Torres, and all that, lah, kan? But, ah lah, it's hilang lah, lah. I'm almost taking take it off for three hundred and fifty four hari. Anyway, quite justified so far, lah, for me, lah, kan? Untuk tu, untuk face plan. No, 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 no. Okay, I cannot. This one, this one susah. Okay, this one susah. 
This one susah. This one susah. Zakaria asal pukul berapa game start dalam pukul 6 macam tu. Uh, pukul 6 nanti. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Okay, okay, okay. This one, kita bagi pendapat peribadi dulu lah kan? No. Firstly, pendapat peribadi personal thought is a no. No. This is, Papa Moss pun dah mula gelak dah. No, this is no. This is no. Come on. Come on, the, in, the Infinity No. 11, uh, no apa-apa lah, The Infinity eh. Um, okay, personal pendapat no. I think at least top 3. Infinity Super Weekend kalau mengamuk tak boleh bawa bincang, Aiman. Betul. Kita tengok dekat Thailand pula kan. Like, uh, bila, bila diorang main Super Weekend, diorang punya Super Weekend put like what? Puratanya 200 point. It's kau-kau sangat. Like weekday diorang pun macam biasa-biasa je. Kan? Dekat Thailand pun weekday diorang biasa-biasa je. Like diorang like just nice untuk masuk top 16. Tapi bila dah masuk Super Weekend, objective play diorang, diorang keluar semua kuasa firepower, bapa gila, gila, gila bab siapa benda semua lah kan kau-kau. Tak boleh situ lah Zami. Tak boleh lah. Tak boleh. Tak boleh kat situ. Papa Mas. Yang ni jadi Axis terus langgar je EVT dengan SMB. Dua-dua tak untuk Axis 16, EVT 11 in the end. Okay. So, 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 okay. Itu adalah pendapat peribadi kita. Peri, pendapat peribadi kita adalah... Uh, I think rata-rata pun boleh setuju ya. EVT is not going to be here. It's minimum pun top 3. Paling-paling pun top 3. This is a top 3 team. Easily. Easily bagi aku ini adalah top 3 team. But kita kena cari justification juga. Macam Papa Mas tadi, dia, dia dapat justification. Dia cari juga justification dia. Yang ni Axis terus langgar je EVT kat SMB so Axis nak, 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 nak SMB lah kan. Axis 16, EVT 11 in the end. So kalau you continue on like this, then it probably be that lah kan. So kita akan main banyak irangle juga. Izzah macam tak percaya je EVT kat 2011 tapi bila-bila masa EVT akan mengamuk kau-kau. Ya, yeah, like the personal prediction tu tak boleh lah kot. Azi Infinity dekat weekday tak menyengat sangat. Tak mustahil Super Weekend no. 11 kena aku dengan roda kesikinan. Ya, yeah, I mean kita kena cari, kita kena cari keakuran jugalah. Kita kena cari keakuran. Kita kena cari what is the justification. Kita kena, kita kena cari sebab untuk bersetuju juga dengan roda ni. EVT will show their facts today. You guess Nova? Oh, of course, for sure. EVT ni pegati RRQ dulu, Mama Arif. Hmm. So, in a good way ke in a bad way? Aha, sebab RRQ Athena pun tak masuk lah kan? Tapi Adri, rasa secret akan chicken di Super Weekend maybe. Ah, okay lah tu. Uh, Mohan Pidaus, uh, take it off for 289 hari. Baru perasan HBMB tak masuk C, Syaril Afizan. HBMB dah tukar nama kepada D Xavier. Uh, Papa Mas, MPT buat split kau-kau jauh tapi tak menjadi sebab kena culik one by one. Atau MPT duduk degil lawan near edge gas sampai habis peluru and supply. Okay, what, what, one more thing lah kan that I can think lah. <laughs> Dia, yang ni lagi best. Aiman kata, oh, apa Nuzi sakit perut tak boleh perform. Tak pun, tak pun kan Aiman. Nuzi punya misai kena potong. Lepas tu dia punya uh, dia punya aura padu misai dia tu dah tak ada. Lepas tu dia tak boleh perform. Tiba lah kan. Tapi Syairah dah infinity will shing 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 today. Wah potong semua orang ya eh, dia kata. Okay. So apa dia nak kimi. Oh dia top 4 is that uh, semua team Malaysia lah kan. Uh, hashtag Malaysia boleh. So give pair forever secret dengan Axis. Uh, tu dia. Mohon ikhmah bawah saya. Adakah infinity menjadikan weekday sebagai magma pengajian nantikan malam ni? Uh, I think it's not really mak mak. It's yes and no lah kan. Sebab dia orang is quite objective for the team. Oh, ada free game dekat Epic Store. Nice. Nanti aku simpan dalam live feed. Uh, give it actually the Infinity 2.0. Wow, that's a big statement tu daripada Nova. Papa was Nuzi buat misai Star Hitler. Yeah, if he change the Star Hitler, then that's it already. Dia punya, dia punya feng shui tu tak ada kot. Yeah, Daniel Haris, si kali ni semua tiga keras tak pasal season tiga as so, Infinity tak dominant. I will simpan the the thought of Infinity dominant dulu untuk nanti sebab it was weekday. Dene Haris, uh, oh okay. Uh, Dene Hakimi, adakah Yuha akan bermain? Um, kalau tengok, nanti kita cerita pasal uh, BTR lah kan bila sampai dia punya turn. Tapi in short, I think kalau tengok performance BTR, they need a change lah. So whether it's Yuha masuk, then maybe it's Yuha lah kan. 
Anyway, kalau untuk justify infinity dekat sini, okay, one more justification lah kan. One more justification for me is that infinity sebab dia orang walaupun dia orang a mid table finish dekat weekday, it doesn't really matter sebab top 16 je yang matter lah kan. Sebab dia orang still consider one of the top team dekat Southeast Asia. So, kalau kita ambil benda tu sebagai consideration, maksudnya Infinity still akan dikaji kau-kau oleh tim-tim. So, dia orang punya split dua-dua lah, dia orang punya uh, jenis rotation lah, whatever it is lah kan. Akan kena kaji juga. Lebih mendalam lah kan. So, it is the the thing about gayat. So, mungkin kalau kita nak justify position Infinity ni adalah uh, gayat jugalah kan. Gayat lepas tu jatuh pada sebelah. I, I mean that is my ada justification juga untuk Infinity. Vampire ni tim baru atau dah tukar nama? Kalau dah tukar nama, sila lepas apa namanya Syaril. Uh, dia tukar nama. So, sebelum ni PW888. Uh, Dana Hakimi, kalau PMPLC top 3 semua tim Malaysia jadi kat PMGC ada 4 tim Malaysia lah kan? Uh, PMPLC Grand Finals. Uh, top 3 semua tim Malaysia, oh, of course sebab dia ada 4 slot. So, of course. Of course, Daniel. So, dia empat slot. Ingat vampire baru lepas si otak. Dia orang, dia orang otai. Uh, Iqbal, uh, daripada Syarif Afizah. Dari, Muhammad Iqbal, ada satu tempat premium. Tak ada satu tim yang ambil. Bukit jumper. Mungkin lepas ni, dia orang akan tengok kosong. Lepas tu ambil kot. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. Good point lah, I mean, yeah, I, I believe, I believe in benda tu lah. I believe in, kalau kau top 10, orang akan banyak tengok. Because why? Because why? Ada 16 team. It's like you want to keep focus kepada 16 team pun susah. So, you keep focus kepada uh, top teams ataupun teams yang dekat dengan korang. Uh, ini for, daripada uh, view aku lah kan. Kau akan bagi priority dekat teams yang dekat dengan korang. And then, lepas tu kau akan bagi priority dekat teams yang uh, uh, kuat because you want to know what what apa yang dia orang buat yang membuatkan dia orang successful so bagi aku even sudut pandangan analysis pun kalau aku analyst for a certain team aku akan tengok siapa dekat keliling dia orang because keliling dia orang is teams yang boleh kacau rotation high possibility barulah kita tengok team yang kuat tapi kalau team yang kuat tu kebetulan ada dekat ah uh, that is memang perfect scenario lah kan. Tapi kalau let's say infinity macam dia jauh drop spot dia orang ke kan. Then I will put it as second but it will still be like oh a second of the top lah kan. Priority untuk kita bagi perhatian sebab kita nak tahu apa yang dia orang buat yang kita boleh belajar daripada dia orang and apa yang dia orang buat tu must be something good then kita belajar and kita try to learn what works out for them lah kan. So I I see from that perspective. Tapi, uh, oh, one moment, Ahmad Nazir, Aminul Azim Ahmad, thank you for the share. Dan Shali dan juga Madi, thank you jadi follower yang baru. So, Shali dia kata, uh, ada tak yang bantu untuk beli telur? Beli telur eh? Hmm, okay. Uh, okay, tak pasti beli telur tu kegunaan apa. Mungkin ada orang punya birthday, tapi okay. Uh, tapi Abdul Aziz, what's up Abdul Aziz? Okay, spin, spin. Okay, kita spin dah. Infinity, I know. I know. This one take, get a lot of attention lah kan, Papa Muas. Lepas ni, tengah test lain internet lagi. Okay, guna ni buat stress test lah kan. Uh, tapi Nova, can, can tell talk about why BTR didn't perform their league? Uh, nanti kita sampai dekat BTR. Kita cerita pasal BTR. But ni boleh tengok Malaysia team ada peningkatan lah setakat ni. Oh, sangat, sangat. So, I expect untuk week, uh, untuk weekend, uh, untuk weekend ni, I, I expect team Malaysia akan okay lah. Middle above lah untuk team Malaysia lah. Okay, let's go next team. So, MS Chonburi. Aha. Hmm. Syafija, hello. MS Chonburi eh, uh, ni dah somewhat dekat tengah lah kan. By the way, Lin, hello, Lin just Lin, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the share. Uh, MS Chonburi, no, 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 not for me juga. No, I think this one is at least top five team for me. Yeah, okay, personal pendapat dulu. Ini adalah top five team. 
personal pendapat lah kan uh, no chicken no problem super con- uh, consistent taklah super consistent but consistent enough untuk duduk dekat tempat nombor 2 without chicken bagi aku is a statement maksudnya dia orang tahu main secara objektifnya untuk kumpul point uh, if you can almost get chicken every round as compared dengan dapat satu chicken lepas tu hilang macam face clan contohnya kan you, anyone would take the second one anyone would take the first one sorry so MS Chonburi so untuk MS Chonburi ada dekat sini well uh, this one is a bit this one is a bit uh, lah kan hmm. not for me lah I think it's at least the top 5 lah maybe so a team lain sort of expect MS Chonburi operate Papa Muas yeah so uh, MS Chonburi first time masuk C kan uh, Mo Ali betul the way Kevin Rush MS Chonburi is like DSM1 no chicken no problem yeah it's no chicken no problem but Papa Muas pun I think kita boleh pakai teori yang lebih kurang sama lah kan di mana if you are one of the rising star team MS Chonburi I mean dia orang pun the rising star team juga lah kan dia orang macam APG juga rising star punya team if you are a rising star team and then dia orang punya persembahan better daripada APG dia orang lagi consistent um, again dia orang akan kena kaji so it could be it could be the concept of like of, of that juga dia orang kena kaji and then and then dia orang jatuh pada middle of the table ini dah lebih kurang middle lah kan but personally I think still a top 5 team lah for me Muazzam uh, MS Chomburi kalau dapat circle dia orang punya whole ground memang gila by power dia orang survivor setiap player tu mantap yes that's why dia orang macam at least boleh dapat nombor 2 walaupun dia orang tak ada advantage walaupun dia orang macam tinggal seorang ke kan dia orang still at least boleh dapat nombor 2 which is I think uh, it, it's good lah kan at the other day yang uh, objective is kumpul point it's not really about the chicken lah kan tapi objective is more about kumpul point kan Muhammad Abiru Izzat thank you jadi follower yang baru um, so but untuk justify MS Chomburi dekat sini is rasanya is ah dia orang satu team yang um, rising star so banyak orang akan tengok dia orang and that ends up dekat somewhat dekat middle ni lah ok let's go for the next one GDGIDS aha number 9 ok yang ni not surprising I think walaupun dia orang satu team yang uh, ada pengalaman main uh, musim lepas dah kan um, Abang Abu by the way thank you for the share dia orang satu team yang ada pengalaman main dekat musim yang lepas but um, but dia orang uh, yeah dia orang juara dekat PPI Indonesia but generally the Indonesian team is not doing that well kiranya GD is the best performing Indonesian team dan kalau kita tengok the best sample kita is weekday lah kan dan aku rasa uh, GD, it feels like GD memang betul-betul dah all out lah during the week, weekday because dia orang tak safe sangat dia orang tak safe sangat so dia orang dah give all the best so kalau all the best pun dia orang macam tahap macam tu je it feels like it's quite justified untuk dia orang ada dengan tengah pun ya yeah, Papa Moss pun kata not surprising will repeat if their Terminator Sata still tak perform as expected yeah so Sata macam ada ada the feel of like uh, Sata ada the feel of like Tony Kane or that lah kan Ada, dia macam ada banyak hype but then again uh, it's tak kesampaian lah dia punya hype lah kan oh but um, Naim Afaran thank you for the 15 star ada bau-bau di Infinity dan Face Clan akan mengganas hari ni uh, Infinity I think yes Face Clan I'm not too convinced tadi pun kita dah borak pasal Face Clan lah kan I'm not too convinced pasal Face Clan but thank you to 15 star by the way GD JDS kurang perform Kevin Raj yeah so mid table finish I think is the best that they boleh dapat like like realistically the best a mid table finish for GDGIDS kot rasa macam tu lah it gives me that feel ok so nothing much to debate about GD so we kita boleh move on secret of vampire? ah Vampire Esports, interesting. Vampire Esports, oh no, not for me. This is a top three team, easily, not for me. Personal, 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 
personal thought for me vampire is easily top 3 dia bukanlah nombor not a middle team uh, muak ada face clan tak konsisten eh oh dia delete komen tu ke tiba-tiba hilang pula komen tu baru aku tengah baca tadi but uh, anyway papa was especially GD fumbles masa nak try dapat chicken hari tu yeah so yeah yeah exactly bila GD the problem oh yeah one more thing aku nak add on pasal GD lah kan thank you for reminding me GD bila dia sampai final circle bila dia dah macam like dua team tiga team it feels like dia orang tak reti nak close off the game so memang fumble for GD lah kan so i think if they continue to fumble like that memang mid table finish to GD lah it's frustrating tu tengok GD yang dia orang ada advantage dia orang ada 4 orang dia orang buka cantik but, tapi dia orang tak boleh tutup game so it's very it's it's a frustrating moment to GD lah for me so i justifiable mid table to GD but uh, vampire so ada potential to top 5 so muaza pun letak dia orang as top 5 basically dia orang like betul-betul up there jugaklah kan papa mas vampire akan jadi situ sama case with ms john bully yeah i think it's going to be the same case but in reality i think kita macam boleh i think dia tak tahu orang akan macam okay ni top 5 top 3 punya team ni vampire ni uh, but kalau ada dekat sini is the same case ms john bully lagi sekali a team yang macam duro dekat atas and then uh, orang kata uh, duduk dekat atas tu gayat ataupun duduk dekat atas tu is more like um, curse lah kan body duduk nombor satu lah kan tapi aku boleh justify body tu body tu adalah disebabkan mungkin lah oleh kau duduk dekat atas orang akan haji korang same goes dengan MS Chomboli dengan Vampire Esports itu akan meletakkan menjatuhkan dia orang kepada um, tempat nombor 8 Oh by the way kita ada pemain bola jadi follower baru iaitu Ryan Giggs. Wow, ini otai ni. Main bola Ryan Giggs. Thank you jadi follower baru by the way. Nova Vampire is what had experience playing on PEC. Ah uh, yes, but dia PW88. That's why dia orang kuat. But of course kita cari justification macam mana kita nak setuju dengan Wheel of Chicken lah kan. So that is the way yang aku rasa aku setuju dengan Wheel of Chicken how it is lah. Yeah, okay, so let's move on. Okay, so TS ends up according to Will of Shikin. No more to do. Let's go pick this up, lah. Eh. Justifiable, good. I think yang ni kita akan ada banyak debate or argument lah kan So aku nak dengar daripada korang-korang semua juga TS nombor tujuh Ketepikan unsur kroni lah kan Okay let's not say okay penjilat TS uh, uh, Sebab aku jilat TS dia orang nombor satu Okay let, let's put a logical debate pada ni lah kan Let's parking tepi dulu jilat-jilatan Parking tepi dulu uh, uh, apa ni uh, semangat nasionalis lah kan Kita parking tepi, kita parking tepi kita panggil tepi. Kalau tak, no point kita buat uh, this discussion lah kan. Baik letak TS nombor satu je. So, aku tahu TS banyak fans. Tapi kita panggil tepi dulu sebab uh, kita nak make a, 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 a satu discussion yang betul-betul ni lah kan. Uh, okay, so nak dengar daripada korang dulu. dulu, dulu. Uh, Azamil kata possible tapi rasa boleh pergi jauh lagi. Okay, it feels like itu bukan jawapan kroni lah kan. Tapi possible tapi rasa boleh pergi jauh lagi. Okay. Uh, by the way, Muhammad Ashraf bin Jamaluddin, thank you jadi follow baru. Uh, Adam Syahir kata, selamat hari hadir masuk-masuk kelas walaupun lewat. Oh, okay. Dia bukan bagi komen. Tapi selamat hadir, Adam Syahir. Aman Nazan, team seeker dengan nombor tujuh memang berpisah tiada. Eh, true juga lah kan. Diorang ada macam this nombor tujuh thing juga kan. Aiman Musakir kata mungkin ya atau mungkin tidak. Okay. Tapi Syafiq Musa kata TS rasa top five lah macam tu. Uh, Saifu pun rasa TS is a top 5 So mungkin boleh up lagi sikit lah kan uh, Dan kita ada Bapak uh, Bapak Mas ni kalau jadi Effect Fredo Tak adalah baru terasa atau ada konflik Mak Toh Jumper Mungkin Yeah I mean but so far we don't really see that conflict lah kan So uh, We don't really see that conflict So I, I'm, I'm not really sure about Uh, I'm not really sure about the conflict. Rasa macam tak nampak the conflict lah. Eh. 
Hmm, Azli, PS Top 3 sebenarnya ni share dengan saya Eh, itu lagi Itu salah server tu Azli Salah server tu uh. Hmm Dasar penjilat eksis eh Adik, Dasar penjilat eksis ha? uh, Kenapa? Siapa yang penjilat eksis tu? Hmm. Ini tak melibatkan EVOS ke Atai? Eh, tapi technically EVOS tak masuk lagi dalam list So kita tak tengok lagi uh, Dia akan ada dekat mana lah kan? Hmm. Yeah Tuan Syed So according to the wheel axis dia letak dekat bawah lah According to the wheel lah so, uh, According to the wheel axis letak dekat bawah Oh, tapi uh, Muma Helmi, Arwin KH, thank you jadi follower yang baru. Um, PS Top 5 maybe. So, uh, Mikhail pun cakap PS Top 5 lah. Eh. Yeah, I, okay. Um, so, tak dengar like a few more uh, pendapat lah kan. So, Nova Paraboy, Wheel of Chicken should put PS at number 2 because they always fitted on that number. <laughs> Okay, ada lah like in recent times lah kan, always better nombor 2 lah kan, so But uh, But in current performance Current performance, I would say like maybe a top 5 finish kalau like like in reality punya case yeah, Mungkin like in a top 5 finish lah kan Kalau tak sama Will lah, sikit <laughs> ah, Thank you, thank you 333 star <laughs> But yeah, Wheel of Shikin, uh, Tuan Zai, thank you, thank you Tuan Zai to 333 star tu. But uh, Yanni is, uh, Yanni is, uh, well, <laughs> I mean it is Wheel of Shikin kind the other day. <laughs> it could go the other way lah. But uh, frankly, I think, I think ke kebanyakan orang pun macam okay lah, no lah. Axis will not be at 16 lah kot. It will not be at 16, takkan ada dekat 16 lah kot. Tapi uh, gameplay sih kan makin mantap bila masukkan dua aja dalam satu team ya. Eh? Hmm. Pendapat yang menarik tu. So far memang tak ada clash. So I I, I don't know how it works dalam dia. Sebab yang tu betul betul kena bergantung kepada cara uh, cara uh, cara macam macam apa ya? Cara orang communicate lah kan. So benda tu susah untuk kita tengok dekat luar. Kita tak boleh tengok dekat luar. Cara orang communicate dan all that. The best way is kalau ada mic check nanti lah kan. Kalau ada mic check then yeah, then we can sort of see tapi kalau dekat luar just, just tengok game je kan then kita susah nak tengok uh, kita susah nak tengok mana, team-team mana akan dapat uh, macam mana dia orang manage dia orang punya dua player tu eh tak yakin TS boleh nombor dua so Arif so Arif tak yakin lah kan so bagi Arif top 5 ataupun Arif boleh setuju dengan nombor tujuh ni Will for hari ni atau minggu ni? Atau saya Kita ambil minggu ni. Kita ambil the entire super weekend. Kita ambil the entire super weekend. Macam tu. Siapa perasaan Team Seeker selalu panas awal? Awal je hujung-hujung senang tercidup macam PNW dengan PMGC Amal. Hmm. But dah banyak perubahan lah kan untuk this season. So let's see if if benda tu akan macam uh, tukar lah kan. Hmm. Namun. Hmm. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Kena bayar pengeras untuk elak body wheel ni lah kan <laughs> Well, Papa Muaz Geek Fam tak keluar lagi <laughs> Bayar pengeras eh <laughs> Jadi kena bayar kepada I don't know uh, who owns Wheel of Chicken <laughs> But we have seen Wheel of Chicken kena proven wrong lah So macam ok lah kan bagi lancar lah kan uh. Well, help me. TS punya advantage is consistency. So top five rasa tak ada pasal pun dia orang. Yeah, I think I think TS is going to be a top five. Okay, so the so the personal pendapat lah kan. So the personal pendapat, I think it's going to be a top five lah kan. Okay, so I think I think personal pendapat uh, is going to be a top five finish untuk uh, untuk TS lah. At least lah, I think. Because there are the one thing which is called consistency lah kan. So no chicken, no problem. So, kalau kita boleh bagi the same thought macam MS Chomburi kepada MS Chomburi pun kita kata tadi, dia orang consistent, no chicken, no problem. Kalau kita boleh bagi the same thought pada MS Chomburi, maksudnya kita boleh bagi the same thought kepada uh, TS juga. So, I would say um, then a top 5 finish at least lah kan. Uh, Sekurang-kurangnya. Tapi Ace Miro, thank you jadi follower yang baru Ace Miro. Hmm. 
Uh, ya, ada tim di bawah bak ni. Okay. Well, Farisa, thank you for the share more, Farisa. Top 5 hingga 7 setuju. So, Arif, uh, so Arif rasa 5 sampai 7 untuk TS lah. So, it's like a bit of the first half untuk TS. Okay, okay, that's that's alright. Hmm. Uh, Adul Aziz tak tahu kenapa PMPRC kali ni any team boleh menang. Uh, any team as APG boleh menang. APG? APG boleh menang? Uh. APG boleh menang? Mungkin. Mana tahulah kan? Why the surprise? Macam Infinity last season. Siapa je fikir Infinity boleh menang? Tiba-tiba Infinity pop up, pop up, pop up terus menang kan? Kau-kau uh, macam tu lah kan? Ni pendapat lah, bukan lain sangat sim PUBG Abdul Aziz. Ya, yeah, it's okay. I mean, uh, ni tempat untuk ni tempat untuk kita ni lah kan, bagi pendapat secara terbuka, that's fine. Tebu Pahir, Kid, Secret, Firepower dia makin gila. Cepat betul dia belajar bermain di C-League. Uh, I don't think it's also, I, I don't think the C-League juga lah kan. I, I think dia orang punya macam uh, peningkatan, I mean Kid punya uh, boom dan right moment dia pun datang masa PMP dan MYSG masa tu pun kita dah nampak that's why for me personally uh, dia diberi uh, dia dinobatkan sebagai best player lah so for me personally dia dia still consistent from from MYSG sampai sekarang Pidah Sasan, thank you for the share hmm So TS Kid makin lama makin improve bila masuk Team Secret, saya pun bari. Ya, yeah, I I guess it's the ecosystem yang yang sesuai untuk dia lah kot. But, I, but kalau kita tengok Kid lah kan, dia adalah seorang player yang independent. So I think because dia independent, as compared dengan yang macam Dragon sebelum ni, dia perlukan sokongan lah kan. Uh, Kid lebih independent, so dengan dia lagi independent, Secret boleh main dengan lebih freedom, lebih free. Compare dengan, oh kita kena jaga dia ni. Macam Yuhai, Yuhai, Yuhai perlukan penjagaan rapi. So, uh, so dengan pertukaran macam tu, then orang dah boleh main dengan lebih lebih free flow as compare dengan bila di Yuhai dekat dalam tim lah kan. So, yeah, it feels, it feels that way untuk Secret uh, and also Kid. So I think dia orang boleh boleh up, uh, dia orang boleh up lagi lah. Dia orang punya uh, mungkin performance, mungkin top 5 finish for me lah. Seven tu uh, somewhat, tapi idea se top five will be okay lah. Kan? Fido Sasa, hi semua, hi Fido, semoga semua merazki, amin. Kita amikan benda-benda yang baik je. Shazril, uh, ikut tak kita jadi follow baru. Tuan Azan, oh di clip kan? So macam tu lah. Oh, so tu Azan clip kan? Jangan lupa tag lah nanti. Pepe petani start macam biasa ke Tanjiro? Yes, start macam biasa. Pukul enam juga, start macam biasa. Um, pop, 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 pop. Secret Kid improve sebab teammate semua padu So dia jadi power in your opinion Amal Ya yeah, I guess I guess yes tak dinafikan juga I, I mean benda tu pun ada impact juga juga Amal Di mana sebab Sebelum ni datang dengan uh, da Daripada team lain Last team dia todak lah kan No disrespect pada todak But This is actually quite true um, Aku setuju dengan tu Di mana Katakan kalau teammate kau power, kau akan kau akan boleh jadi power. Dia tak semestinya di carry oleh teammate lah kan. Tapi kau tak perlu carry teammate kau. Right? If you know what I mean lah kan. Kau tak perlu lah oh, carry teammate-teammate kau. So bila teammate kau semua sama power dan so kau boleh fokus kepada diri sendiri je. Kan? So I believe in benda ni juga lah kan. So dia diletakkan, dia memang dah power tapi mungkin dia ada limitation sebab teammate dia ada ada limitation juga. So bila dah sampai kepada uh, secret di mana semua semua pun cukup sama kuat as an individual, dia punya full potential tu nampak dengan lebih jelas lah, kan overall. So I think I think benda tu macam Amar kata pun uh, boleh dipersetuju, dipersetuju juga. Uh, Farid Muhammad, thank you jadi follow yang baru. Uh, Pak Tan JP, thank you for the share. Betul betul independent and got support from Aisha. Nice combination for him to be pregnant, Saiful Bari. Yeah, dia sendiri dah, dah independent. Lepas tu dia dapat pula extra support daripada player-player yang padu So, itu yang meletakkan dia dekat atas tadi It's okay, just prediction Ya, yeah, just prediction Nova So, kita just cerita-cerita and prediction Pendapat masing-masing jugalah kan Ya, yeah. pendapat masing-masing je 
Muazzam Kid dia dah pandai jaga diri Compare masa PMPM dan Muazzam masa tu Even Mak Ton pun bagi tahu dalam live Kid dia faham play style Mak Ton Exactly So kalau macam Yuhai Aku Yuhai is getting better at jaga diri lah kan Compare dengan season 1 Tapi still nampak yang Yuhai I don't know lah At least from the pergerakan dalam game lah kan Still nampak yang Yuhai um, Still nampak yang Yuhai perlu ada Some form of support yang lebih heavy untuk dia lah So That's where, that's why masa masa perpindahan transfer aku ada bagi pendapat kan dan mungkin ada yang dengar pada waktu tu Yuhai need support So dengan Yuhai keluar daripada TS Whoever they want bring in which is kid after that lah kan tak lama selepas tu diumumkan Benda ni adalah upgrade pada TS because Bukan Yuhai tak power, bukan aku cakap Yuhai tak power Yuhai ada kelebihan dia sendiri But apa yang TS perlukan adalah The kurang dependency on satu player sebab kalau satu player tu tak perform Contohnya macam Yuhai tak perform lah kan And then Dia dah set up banyak supporter Yuhai Tapi dia tak perform Gone So TS ada limitation tu So dengan ni Aku rasa This will allow TS to be more flexible Tak perlu depend on one person And that is a good thing sebenarnya And then Siapa-siapa pun boleh perform Senang cerita lah kan uh, So I think that's a good thing untuk dia So Hadir kata uh, Odego kata dia ada confident Ya yeah, Because yeah, Dia independent So that's great kan? Itu ada bag- bagus That's great for it So more Riza TS and BTR Let's go uh, BTR nama tak keluar lagi guys So boleh lagi ada kat atas Patan JB Hello Saiful Bari Nak tanya Kalau BTR akan turunkan U High For this super weekend okay, Kita tunggu uh, BTR dipilih uh. Uh, Kita tunggu BTR dipilih Dan kita cerita pasal BTR Alright Uh, Izzah, nama pun prediction, masing-masing ada opini masing-masing Yang penting kita sama-sama discuss, betul So, uh, mungkin platform-platform, ada satu platform yang kalau orang bagi pendapat Orang akan kata, oh pala tau lah, uh, coach, coach lah, bla 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 and all that lah kan Tapi dekat sini jangan risau, semua orang boleh bagi pendapat dan kita discuss So, kat sini adalah tempat yang aku rasa kita boleh discuss dengan uh, matang dan terbuka lah uh, Danish you, thank you jadi follower baru dan juga thank you for the share Muhammad Adam Alif, thank you for the share juga Uh, uh, so Nova for you kid better than Yuhai I honestly think so also Bukan aku kata Yuhai tak power Tapi aku rasa kid dia lebih balanced in terms of Dia boleh jaga diri and dia punya firepower is balanced So I would prefer kalau aku diberi pilihan kan? Aku macam prefer a player yang Lebih balancing act macam tu lah Mohd Adam Alif, hello, what's up? Yeah, there are different skill set, but so it's quite subjective lah kan. Like, kalau kau as a tactician, kau lebih prefer yang mana. So I think it's quite subjective. For me, I prefer a more balanced than a uh, uh, more balanced punya tactical gameplay. So, aku akan prefer kid punya playstyle and kid punya uh, zaman dalam PS juga lah. Uh, for me, in a personal survey, uh, mungkin ada yang prefer you high. So mungkin dia kata, oh, kita just nak So somebody yang boleh jadi Terminator and kita akan play that tactical Tak salah juga sebenarnya So it's it's, it's a subjective punya play Yang mana satu works on the battleground Yang mana satu berkesan dengan battleground Itu adalah tepi cerita Itu adalah tepi cerita because you wouldn't know Because kebaran kalian dia sangat-sangat banyak lah kan Okay let's oh, Banyak kita cerita pasal dia orang ni yes. So kita move to the next one Ah, Geek Fam. So ni ya ni kan. Jadi kalau kalau dah masuk Geek Fam ni kita kena tanya Roni Geek Fam. Ah uh, Papa Muas, what do you think? Do you, are you accept? Do you accept Geek Fam nombor 6? US start decreasing after PMGC Nova. Uh, because why? This for me lah kan Nova. Dan benda ni aku dah pernah bagi pendapat so, Sorry kita jump topic sikit lah kan. So because kalau pergi BTR, I don't think BTR I don't think BTR ada the support system untuk Yuhai Aku pernah cakap sebelum ni lah kan This is again pendapat peribadi Pernah cakap sebelum ni pendapat peribadi adalah Kalau Yuhai keluar daripada secret Some of you mungkin antara korang pernah dengar ni Kalau Yuhai keluar daripada secret Yuhai akan kurang perform Because secret dah build satu ecosystem Yang ngam untuk support Yuhai Yang dah ngam So kalau dia pergi kepada team lain, aku rasa dia tak kita tak akan nampak the best of you high lagi. Because unless team lain boleh create a support system 
yang sesuai untuk Yuhai tapi kalau tak then that's where we see Yuhai walaupun dia pergi team yang besar macam BTR tapi BTR is not set up untuk Yuhai kiranya the support system tu tak set up untuk Yuhai so Yuhai tak boleh tunjuk full potential dia dekat BTR so that's why kita tengok Yuhai ada dekat situ lah uh, actually aku dah call this masa season 1 ke season 2 aku dah cakap benda ni Ya, yeah. siapa yang follow show ni daripada season 1 ke season 2 lah kan You would have heard me saying this Aku ingat, aku ada cakap masa season 1 atau season 2 Yuhai punya performance is based on the ecosystem yang secret dah set up untuk dia So, bila dia pergi keluar dari team lain Dia orang tak, ada, dia orang tak bersedia dengan ecosystem tu untuk Yuhai So, Yuhai dia, dia macam tu lah idea of the day tapi Muazzam, based on stats, PMP and Yuhai bermain sikit je match tapi firepower dia half daripada kit yang main full. I think firepower masih Yuhai. Tak dinafikan, stats don't lie. Secara kualitatifnya, uh, that is a slightly different pendapat. So, yeah, that, that, so, so, tak dinafikan jugalah untuk stats tu untuk Muazzam. Yang tu, nombor tak pandai menipu lah aku selalu kata. Tepuk baik, aku yakin top 5 akan ada dua tim Malaysia dan dalam top 10 ada ke semua tim Malaysia. Malaysia boleh. Aku pun rasa top 10 will be tim Malaysia lah. We should be we should be good enough lah for top 10. All four of our teams. Ke semua empat tim kita. Izan, maybe four rival akan ada dekat top 4. I think they already have potential for top 4 sebenarnya. Tapi Papa Boss is not taking this. Papa Boss tak terima. Papa Boss tak terima Geek Fam. So top 5 at least lah kan Papa Was So Papa Was tak terima nampak dia Nampak dia Papa Was kurang menerima Okay 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 that's interesting So Geek Fam top 5 I have to agree juga It's a top 5 team uh, But number 6 is not that far Okay and to be uh, to be fair number 6 is just one tangga But a top 5 pin, Top 5 team for top 5 Geek Fam Yeah I would say top 5 lah Geek Fam Geek Fam adalah top 5 material lah easily Uh, YB Hepro, thank you for the share. Yeah, so... But setuju Geek Fan nombor 6. Okay, so Abdul Aziz setuju Geek Fan nombor 6. Okay, I want to hear siapa yang kata setuju. Sebab Papa Mas dia kroni. So, pendapat dia kita kena parking tepi. Sebab dia pendapat kroni lah kan. Tiba. So, Izzat, kalau Geek Fan berada dekat top 16, maybe okay je. Tapi kalau dia orang betul-betul push anytime je. So, Izzat somewhat boleh terima uh, Geek Fan dekat nombor 6. Saiful Bari, Geek Fam will be top 3 or top 5 because their team improve so much. Okay, so dia tiap letak top 3 lagi. So, dia lagi kroni daripada Papa Mas. Tiba. Eh, Jisami. Hello, Jisami. Mikael rasa okey lah Geek Fam no. 6. Okay, so uh, Mikael rasa Geek Fam okey no. 6. Oh, balik pada Yuhai sikit lah kan. Daripada Alam Syahid. Pendapat dia adalah Yuhai terlalu selesa dekat TS. Lebih kurang lah. Kalau kata ecosystem build untuk dia dan ya kita boleh justify yang dia dia mungkin terlalu stress dekat dia asal. Tapi Ryan Kicks, ah ni follower baru ni. You don't think gig number tak tahu dia tak isi. Tapi maybe gig more better because gig fan have a good rotation. Okay, so aku assume ya Ryan Kicks cakap yang dia tak rasa gig is nombor enam. Dia rasa gig is better because rotation dia bagus. Dia orang gig fan, so after rumusan Geek Fam lah kan diorang do well kalau diorang main lorotik lambat kalau macam let's say dapat dapat uh, dapat circle awal tengah sampai hujung lah kan it doesn't feel like Geek Fam selesa main dekat tengah because dekat tengah you get shot from left, right and center lah kan so rasa macam Geek Fam lagi selesa main dekat tepi it feels that way untuk Geek Fam yeah it feels that way untuk Geek Fam So asalkan dia orang tak dapat circle dia orang okey. Cetiba lah kan. In other words. I'm a Farhan. Thank you for the share. Okay. Uh, season 2 Saifo. Season 2. Oh so Saifo ada dengar masa tu lah kan. So season 2 kot aku ada cakap pasal Yuhai punya uh, ekosistem punya teori tadi tu. I'm a Farhan. Thank you for the first time. Hari. Lagi 9 hari kena 100. Mantap. Mohd Aiman, Fredo and Rex part of ecosystem manage to support him when you hide that secret. You know who aku rasa is the paling penting dalam ekosistem untuk you hide. Bagi aku adalah Biu Biu. Biu Biu kalau kita ingat season one season tu dia akan all out untuk untuk cover you hide. You hide not Biu Biu is the one untuk pergi selamatkan. All out cover you hide. Semua paling semua semua pun untuk apa apa for you hide. Whatever for you you hide. Whatever. So for me personally is Biu Biu is the is the 
the strongest ecosystem untuk you hide. Sejak daripada tiada ni bibu, yeah, this still sustain lagi, tapi it goes down and down and down and down daripada situ lah kan. I think Biu Biu is the one. Tapi Aman Azan, the best support for Yuhai is Biu Biu. They champion back to back, best duo for Mo. Tengok Amar, great mind things alike Amar. Great mind things alike, kita fikir yang sama Amar, terbaik. Tengok, great mind things alike guys. Great mind things alike. Macam gitulah, tiba lah kan, dan claim dulu kan. Tiba. Uh, Aisyah, Aisyah betul. Aisyah betul kan je. You missing Biu Biu right now lah kan? Tiba. Uh, Azmin Hilmi, Geekfam boleh top 5 sebab dia orang antara team terbaik dari segi rotation so dia orang boleh survive lebih lama. So, Azamil uh, pun is... Uh, Azamil pun is... Uh, dia dia yakin pasal dia top 5 lah kan? Terlupa pasal Biu. Ya yeah, kan? I mean, dah lama kita tak tengok Biu. But I think dia dah, dia dah totally retired lah. Dia dah tak main dan dia... Ya, yeah, I think the the back to the play YouTube dah kot. Which is good for him lah. YouTube at least got flexible timing. Okay, let's talk about Biu Biu for a bit lah kan. I'm I'm happy for Biu Biu sebenarnya. Ah uh, dia dah dia live at a high bagi aku. Tu nombor satu. Ah uh, nombor dua is that um dia move away daripada live streaming. So live streaming is actually sangat sangat susah sebenarnya. Dan aku tahu dia ada viewer yang banyak. Ah uh, tapi ah uh, live stream kalau nak jadi partner dia kena komen 120 jam which is sebenarnya a lot and then viewership kau tak tak terjamin kan macam dulu aku pun normal aku live akan, akan dapat like 100 ke 200 views tapi sekarang ni viewership aku pun dah jatuh so in terms of uh, viewership is is sangat-sangat you don't know banyak tanda soal and then kau kena komen like 120 jam sebulan So at least kalau Biu Biu, dia fokus balik dekat dia punya YouTube dia which is YouTube dia sangat sangat successful dia boleh fokus pada YouTube je dia buat content YouTube pun dah boleh dapat uh, uh, good good revenue juga lah kan um, So at least YouTube dia flexible uh, dia nak, bila dia nak edit video, bila dia nak buat video tu is up to him macam live stream tu, yeah it's sort of flexible but you still need to put in the 120 hours At least YouTube video is like uh, you are not forced to put in. The, if you finish editing cepat, then cepat lah. Uh, then kau tak perlu nak commit to that. So I'm I'm happy for Biu Biu dia dah move away daripada uh, benda-benda kita dah biasa tengok dia and dia dah jumpa benda-benda baru yang dia buat. I, I I don't know tapi aku dengar macam macam dia buat business and all that lah kan, which is not related kepada e-sport. I think it's okay for Biu Biu lah. So I'm happy for him lah juga. So Nova para boy, uh, Geek Fan Benchmark is PMGC team level. So at least they, they should be top 2. Wow! Nova para boy, bagi Geek Fan top 2. Wow, this is the highest recognition setakat ni. Not bad, boleh tahan, boleh tahan. Okay, so pop, daripada Papa Muas, so circle awal-awal terus tentang Geek kat tengah memang jam. Geek akan still gerak ke edge a bit, but bukan betul-betul sebelah edge sampai kantor kat Blue Zone bila fight. Yeah, I noticed that juga. Kalau don't Dapat sekejap kau-kau middle from the start Dia macam Oh how are we going to play this eh Dah tak reti dah Kan So I guess for Geek Fam Harap Geek Fam tak dapat circle lah Tiba Kan Tidak Hassan Geek Fam antara team yang pada baca circle Mereka selalu berada dalam circle Erti kata lain Geek Fam dapat circle Hujung-hujung lah kan Starting-starting tu diorang rasa tak nak circle kot Diorang like Diorang like um, Diorang like um, kita kita main dekat tepi tapi kita low profile lah kan uh, macam papa muas kata komen dia pasal bibi bijak not to over expose himself to the world kira ala ala elite gitu yeah and he only need to focus on dia punya youtube je i'm looking at dia punya views yang boleh dapat dekat video dia lah kan i think he can get maybe lah maybe lah i mean just from youtube lah kan mungkin dalam 4000 ke 5000 uh, ringgit sebulan maybe lah maybe i'm just giving a maybe belum lagi YouTube pun dia ada supporter, supporter ataupun dia panggil subscription dekat situ lah kan. So uh, I think dia oh, they, they doing well lah. And dia ada business so that dia ada add on income lagi lah kan. And then on top of that dia pun ada dia I think dia still brand ambassador dengan gang so nanti dia akan I don't know what's the deal lah. Like, kan mungkin dia ada uh, exclusivity uh, monthly maintenance. So I think income wise dia dia sangat sangat okay lah view view. Walaupun dia tak dah tak main pro, walaupun dia tak stream dekat Facebook. But 
I think generally Bill Bill will be fine lah. In Cowboys tak perlu risau pasal dia. Dia okay. Sangat okay. Uh, oh so Mickey is in the house yo. So Geek Pam pada survive. Seke mungkin dalam dalam diam masih ada energy dia orang. Wow. Tiba lah kan. Anas selalu kejar seke macam kejar jodoh lah tiba. Anas Anas kena fix satu benda dulu. Full squad. Berhenti main trio Anas. Berhenti main trio please. Tolong berhenti main trio. Objektif pertama anda adalah berhenti main trio. Apa muas harap harap circle end ke atas seberang sungai atas Rozo, tapi fungsi terbaik untuk Geek Fam or oh, Chicken. But then again kan, because Geek Fam orang dah tukar draw spot. But I don't know how we change for Super Weekend lah kan, since it'll be fixed. But I don't know how, but they dah tukar draw spot. Before this kan, Jogo Pool they orang kan uh, turun Jogo Pool atas half half lepas tu orang naik atas, so that's like standard rotation untuk orang. But now they orang turun like rumah air, but yeah, not that far juga. But I don't know, mungkin benda tu akan macam ah, domino effect kan benda kan. Baru greeting Anas, ah, dah sampai dah Anas tu. Ha. Tapi Nazri Amir, thank you for the share. Thank you jadi follower yang baru juga Nazri Amir. Terima kasih. Saya pun bari, uh, rasa uh, season ni ada tak circle air. Hmm. Baik aku fikir sekejap lah. Da- okay, dalam scream ada circle air. Scream yang kita buat lah like, seminggu ke dua minggu lepas macam tu ada circle air. Uh, so kalau aku nak kata algorithm dalam PUBG Mobile dah tak ada circle air, macam tak. So scream tu aku ingat aku guna tournament rungkat juga. So it's the same settings. So I think boleh ada lagi circle air. So kalau kita fikir algorithm, sebab kenapa aku fikir sampai algorithm lah kan? Because kalau PUBG PC, PUBG PC punya tournament mode tak akan ada air. Tak akan ada. Itu adalah algoritma yang memang dia orang dah set player semua memang dah tahu. So mungkin ada circle air lah. Still algorithm wise ada chance lah untuk ada circle air. Apa mas rasa ni juga pun knock kalau flight path izinkan pace tak jauh ke selatan. If not then it's going to be Kameshki again maybe. Dia punya second drop spot Starbuck Kameshki tu. Boleh jadi juga. It's possible kan? Anas memang mencari pun, tapi apa kadainya, tanya semua busy, tiba. Alah, tak ada, Anas kena letaklah usaha, usaha tangga kejayaan. Anas tak ada usaha memanglah, tak jumpa Anas, usaha lah. Usaha Anas, tu Aisyah pun nak main tu, tapi Anas tak pernah nak ajak Aisyah kan, tiba. So Saiful, ada probability circle ke air sebab so, PUBG yang circle too random. Yes, even aku host screen pun ada lagi circle air. So that means, algorithm dia still ada lagi dekat air. Still ada lagi elemen air tu. Papa was still waiting circle Mirama kat dua pulau sebelah Impala. Mirama dua pulau. Oh ya, yeah. uh, scream kita dah pernah kena. Like banyak-banyak scream dah are hosted. Ada dua kali dah kena dekat pulau tu. But tournament tournament rasmi kita tak tengok lagi kan. I, I want to see that. I want to see that macam mana team saya itu. I want to see that. That is the one circle dekat Mirama I want to see. That one circle. That one circle. I want to see. Kalau rezeki hari ni lah kot. Circle tu render tapi still tak sentuh Zaki. Yeah kan? Let's see what Zaki circle. I want to see a Zaki circle juga. Like military base macam. Eh, eh Rango come on. Zaki circle next. Military base dah banyak kali dah. Kan? Why not kan? Aisyah tak makan ikan. Apa lagi ikan? Tiba. Ooh. Aisyah dia just ajak main scream. Aisyah bukannya suruh makan anak ikan bernama Anas. Bukan. Kan? Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Tak pernah nampak circle Zaki saya pun. Yeah. Banyak-banyak scream aku dah host pun aku tak pernah tengok circle Zaki lagi. Tak pernah. Let's just do a circle Zaki lah kan kalau ada. Why not lah kan? Why not lah kan? Let, let's do a circle Zaki. Zaki kat Iran kan also Kempo Meta kat Bila mak, Kempo Milita. Oh ya, yeah, Kempo Milita pun sama. Tak pernah dapat lagi. Circle tu. Kan, bawah masa tak pernah. Pas kena isteri minggu depan, malam selasa je. Uh, Anas, uh, kalau sempat nanti kita akan buat lah. Uh, kita tengok macam mana dulu. Sebab jadual pun kadang-kadang berubah. So, nanti nanti kita umumkan. Pansy screen demi mental health, Aisyah. Oh, bagus. Sebab kalau main screen dengan Anas, lagi mental. I tell you that. Lagi mental kalau main dengan Anas. Boleh dapat chicken tapi dia tapi dia throw game. So itulah dia Anas. Okay, let's let's move on. B 
Bien United, pretty high. Hmm. Interesting. So Bien United no Molima. Um Okay, but some BN United lah kan. Aku rasa like BN United feels like a, a mid table or a lower lower mid table team like let's say mid table yang macam nombor 10, nombor 11 that sort of mid table. Uh, macam if you swap BN United dengan the Infinity, okay, I'll take that. Kan, kalau swap mid table dengan Infinity, I'll take that. So BN United, I don't know. BN ni memang gila-gila enigma. Kau-kau dark horse, Papa Moas. Yeah. Because why BN United ni, diorang tak ada like, diorang tak ada macam the highlight moment juga. Diorang highlight moment tak strong. Tapi diorang macam, oh, suddenly tengok diorang, hmm, okay. Kupo point not bad. Tapi diorang tak ada the highlight moment. Which is, which is interesting lah eh. Like, like, I, like kalau orang tanya, oh, apa, apa rasa pesta BN United? I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. Kan, dia orang tak ada dah highlight moment. I don't know how to describe them. Dia orang macam biasa je. Tapi dia orang macam dapat dapat a fairly okay finish lah kan. So number five, uh, ni ni will be maybe boleh setuju. But personally, I think considering semua team akan main all out lah kan. Mungkin like a 10, 12, 10, 11, 12 around tu punya finish for me for BN United kot. Sama bari, I think probability tak ada kot. Seke Zaki sah. Seke takkan pergi ke tepi-tepi map. Well, Master Scream it happened before and uh, kita guna tournament room card. So, I don't know, maybe possible to get, uh, it's hard for me to say no for that. Barisan National United, ah, uh, kan, I know right. Kita, dah lah logo dia warna biru. So, we cannot get it off of us lah kan, BN United tu. So, tengok placement in weekdays, not bad, Papa Mwaz. Yeah, macam R2K vibe. Yeah, Papa Mwaz, yeah. I think it's like the R2K vibe. Dia macam, dia tak ada like the boom moment. But, but they run somehow. Tiba tiba boleh ada like somewhere in the middle. It's like you cannot describe they run. You, you, it's susah to describe they run. Tapi they run boleh end up somewhere dekat dekat middle lah. Kan? It's not bad juga. As I put it, Bianni quite nice team. Always got good placement in weekday. Ah, tu lah dia. The thing is that how do you describe they run punya gameplay? I I don't know. I I can't describe the gameplay tau. But somehow they run ada dekat atas. Tapi ranking rasa BN United will be on number ten. Ah, uh, that is for me personally juga. Tapi kalau dia top five, that means banyak tim lain akan push down kan. Kalau dia top five, but I think realistically pendapat peribadi number ten, I kind of setuju dengan Ryan Giggs ni. Abah Fit Bomber, thank you for the share, Abah Fit Bomber. Biarni as R two K masih season tu saya kembali. Hmm, R two K season two eh. And this R two K season two still boleh describe. Dia orang beli circle. But Biarni is like I don't know how, where, how, macam mana, macam mana, how, macam mana describe it. Abba Fibomba, thank you to Drop Pro Star. Have a good one this weekend. You too, 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 you too. Thank you for Drop Pro Star. Terima kasih. How many map with Super Weekend? Ami Haikal. Lima belas map. So satu hari akan main lima game. Ah, satu hari main lima game. Ah, susunan dia map dia sama macam PMBL MOSG. So, susunan map dia is, aku alala kita type lah kan. So, round 1 is Erangle. Round 2, uh, Mirama. Round 3, Erangle. Round 4, uh, Sunhawk. Round 5, Erangle. So, so yang yang dekat bawah ni yang tu adalah susunan map untuk untuk super weekend ni. So sama untuk ni lah. So total main 15 map. Bisa PMP MRG semua fokus top 4. Tahu-tahu Atuke nombor 6 Aiman. Betul? So it's like the diam-diam Ubi berisi tiba-tiba ada dekat nombor 6 macam tu lah kan. Saya buat hari Bian got circle but not too defensive team for you you think. Hmm. So maybe dia orang dapat banyak placement because of macam dapat circle lah kan macam Atuke punya punya satu ketika dahulu kan maybe maybe sampai tahap macam tu alright so so yeah so let's move on to the next one YG YG nombor 16 ngam ngam je dekat dalam uh, weekday tapi shoot nombor 4 
Oof. So I think BN United playing game three not really consistent with Ryan Giggs. Yeah, I think so as well. So I will put them together number uh, 10, 11, 12, area, area, like that. That, that sort of finish. Tapi YG, Yangon Galacticos. Um, no, will not be a top four for me. Yeah, tak logic for me was, yeah. This is the one yang dekat atas that uh, I have to disagree. I think they orang akan ada dekat bawah. Because they orang dah lah, the performance they orang dah lah scrape through performance lah kan. Aiman pun macam tak boleh terima lah kan. Ha? Dia terus macam, ha? And they macam scrape through performance and all that. Which team has surprised me so far? Thank you, 40 star, Aman Fit Bomber. Jump topic sekejap lah eh. Which team has surprised me so far? MS Chomburi. MS Chomburi, I think, is the surprise package so far. So far. No chicken, no problem. And then, they orang pun first time dekat PMPLC. And then, they orang dapat second place finish. No chicken, no problem. MS Chomburi, to me, is the surprise, surprise package so far. But thank you to Pablo Star, by the way, about Fit Bomber. YG main empat orang je, so ada risk kat situ. Dia orang tak ada fifth player. Oh ya, yeah, dia orang tak ada fifth player kan? Betul, betul, betul. Uh, Izzat, YG top four macam not logic. Yeah, I think Yadi akan dapat banyak banyak thoughts lah kan? So, Saiful Bari kata, YG for you, you think will not be in top eight. Top eight pun tak. I think, cause performance dia quite down. Lain lah kan macam four rivals main empat orang, tapi boleh kejar top four baru logic. Ya, yeah, mental commando kan? So, Aisha nak sambung kerja. Okay, see you Aisha. But I think, I think kan, kalau YG, yang pun Galacticos, dia orang, for me lah kan, uh, a bottom finish, like 13, 14, 15, 16 punya finish, like, like tempat, tempat ni. Tempat ni punya finish. Somewhere dekat sini lah for me, untuk yang pun Galacticos. I think itu adalah tempat dia orang lah kot. Not convincing at all, uh, scrape through performance, and even harap because they all tak main the last game lah kan. They all kena harap team lain tak perform. Nasib baik VG tak perform last game tu. Kalau VG kita pun dah borak pasal ni masa post show lah kan. Kalau VG just play like like jangan nafsu, like cuat jangan nafsu and all that, jangan make those stupid decisions. VG dah boleh potong um, Yangun. So kalau VG potong YG, YG kita tak akan nampak YG hari ni tau. So bayangkan that is how bad their performance is. So I think YG is a bottom four finish for me lah. I mean I can't, it will give an advantage for a team that collects a lot of points in Irangga because Irangga has nine matches. Yeah, Irangga majority of the matches, betul? So betul-betul kena tahu Irangga lah. You really like MS Chomburi gameplay? Yeah, Ryan Giggs. Yeah, I, I, I like MS Chomburi juga sekarang ni. Like after looking at the weekday, uh, I like MS Chomburi juga. Betul? Uh, the way they orang main tu, I, I like it. Tapi Papa Muas, Team Indo ada top 2. Ada dua kat top 3. Harap ada Indo yang bagi stars. Wow, ada ke? Ada ke? Cik tiba lah kan. Looking good for Indo team so far. Equal Wheel of Chicken. Iza, rasa setuju apa cakap tadi. Ya, sepatutnya Yang Gun memang berada di top 13 to 16. At least dia orang dapat lepas macam tu. It's okay. Yeah. True. But is it bad to be 16 to 13? First Super Weekend, of course, tak lah kan. Asalkan dapat kumpul poin, itu paling penting. But, I don't think they'll be that strong untuk ada dekat atas lah. So, expect dia orang dekat situ. Abang Fim Bomber, you think Malaysia T simpan taring untuk Super Weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Malaysia T so go crazy? I think so as well because Malaysia teams generally, kalau kita tengok, they are more objective based. So, macam, ah ya, dapat top 16, so it doesn't really matter after that lah kan. I think they all can do well. At least a top 10 finish for all of them lah. At least. Paling bare minimum. Top 10. Saya pun bari. You think YG should swap with Vampire? Because Vampire quite strong this season. Probably think the team will be in top 5. Vampire dekat scene. Wow. Honestly, if you ask me, pendapat peribadi, even if you say swap with Vampire, Vampire, Yang Gun no. 8 is still a tepuk tangan. I think it's a bottom 4 for me. Yang Gun bottom four. Still tepuk tangan. I mean, I can rasa ada tak nak contest farm dari BTR because Onyx tak lepas Super Weekend. Takut because farm tak sedap guys. Dah lah kena open besar nak pergi loot and then loot dia sikit. Farm tak sedap. So, I don't think anyone nak betul-betul contest farm lah. No lah. I don't think so. I think kalau betul uh, BTR pegang farm then 
dia orang takkan kena kacau it's not worth it lagi-lagi first day super weekend kan dia tak worth it lah uh, Iza yang penting dia orang kena kejar point super weekend je untuk dapatkan slot ke PMGC Uh, tapi Izzat, actually dekat Liga tak ada slot pergi PMGC So juara Liga dapat ye yeah, ye yeah, juara je lah Dengan hadiah prize money Tapi tak ada slot pergi PMGC Slot pergi PMGC semua dekat Grand Finals Empat slot dekat situ Melainkan ada plot twist lah kan Tapi katakan kalau tak ada plot twist Empat slot PMGC tu dekat Grand Final Bukan dekat Liga Rasa yang gue nombor 14 Mikael Yeah, empat, I, I, I also kind of agree dengan nombor 14 tu lah But Karen Nazli, thank you for the share, by the way Okay, let's let's spin So, kita dah top 3 dah sekarang Kita tengok siapa nombor 2 Eh, nombor 3 Oh, okay BTRA Dia berikan tahta nombor 3 In fact, I think Kalau diorang boleh dapat nombor 3 This is this is a comeback moment dah untuk BTR easily the comeback moment to BTR uh, because kita pun nak tengok ya kan BTR is like 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 daripada Indonesia sampailah ke first weekday is total struggle orang nak kata diorang sengaja ke tu no 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 you will not want to sengaja ada dekat bawah and then scrape through no you will want to sengaja ada dekat atas and then you chill chill that one sengaja aku percaya tapi not sengaja ada dekat bawah lepas tu scrape through Izzat, you forgot baru Liga. Jauh sangat fikir ni. Uh, tak apa Izzat, it's okay. Izzat, ber, Izzat berpandangan jauh. Tiba, kan? But yeah, so... Uh, but BTR, can they do this? I still think... Boleh. Boleh. Now, tadi kita ada... Uh, since kita dekat BTR punya topik lah kan? Tadi ada beberapa orang tanya pasal, Oh, do you think Yuhai will come in? I think yes, because... Uh, Liquid not really working out for me uh, Too soon a few times But is it Liquid punya fault? Not really juga Sebab drop spot kucak kacir So turun-turun tak pasal-pasal jumpa dengan tim lain So it's not totally Liquid's fault Bukan aku kata Liquid lemah guys But I think overall just BTR just need to change something Sebab orang clearly broken Kalau kau broken, kalau kau rosak kau tukar something tu So I think BTR need to change something Papa Mas kata boleh jadi kalau tiba-tiba for whatever reason BTR meletup hari ni I do think as well, I still think dia orang ada potential to meletup Now, kalau BTR perform mungkin dia orang nombor 3 Mikael Ya, yeah, aku pun rasa macam juga So this what I think pasal BTR BTR, dia orang ada kemampuan, they still can do it They need a few changes in there, whether it's tactically, whether it's masukkan you high, I don't know Ya tu coach tu kena decide lah kan But overall, I think BTR still ada the qualities Aku still pegang pada tu, BTS tu ada qualities untuk ada dekat somewhere dekat atas So, a top 3 finish Boleh lah terima Boleh lah terima But, 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 but Kalau Kalau uh, BTR Kalau, ni kalau lah kan Kalau BTR um, I just cucuking something Kalau BTR, cara untuk BTR Okay, kalau after this super weekend Selepas super weekend 3 hari ni lah kan Kalau BTR tak perform Kalau lepas super weekend ni BTR tak perform Then baru then the next week you will see me say macam Oh BTR BTR Okay, it's no longer the BTR that we know I will still give Aku akan bagi BTR this super weekend lagi I will give it this super weekend pada BTR Aku nak tengok performance dia orang So the team yang aku betul-betul nak tengok Are you going to do it? BTR, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it BTR? Are you going to do it? If you can do it, on. If you cannot do it then, well, it's going to be sayonara season to BTR lah for me. Boss Axis is marah ke Firdaus? Tak ada lah. Dia. Yeah. Boss Axis, buat apa nak marah ni? Kita, kita pun fun fun. Buat apa nak marah pun? Kan? How about Fit Bomber? Thank you for 50 stars. Keep doing what you're doing. Gotta go. Okay, see you. Have a good day also. Thank you for 50 stars and also stars stars sebelum ni juga Abang Fit Bomber. Terima kasih. Thank you for stopping by as well. Thank you. Aiman, tak siap kamu. Uh, Caster English ada kreatif BTR pasal support role time PMWI. But PMWI for me is bukan ukuran sebenar because that one is a charity punya show match. So, 
uh, I won't take PMWI as ukuran kekuatan media or siapa-siapa lah Okay, nanti aku akan pakai tepi lah Saiful Bari, they need to find new drops but I need to adapt faster But I think dengan at least a fix 16 team, it should help them a lot lah So, I expect BTR to do better Tapi kalau tak juga, kalau let's say this fix Fix 16 team pun, BTR pun tak boleh nak perform Then I will put BTR macam You will see my next week comments about BTR akan sangat-sangat lain lah Oh, BTR eh? Hmm. Tangan di bawah mata ke atas kejap Yeah, you will see my next comment. But now I will still put faith to BTR untuk this weekend lagi. Kamuru KN, hello Kamuru KN. Alright, so kita bakal spin nombor satu dengan nombor dua. So how we gonna do this next is uh, Wheel of Chicken. Kena kepada siapa kita letak terus pada nombor dua and tak kena tu terus nombor satu obviously lah kan. Why so serious? Hello, tu ada lama tak jumpa. Why so serious? Apa khabar? Selamat hadir kembali. Why so serious? Mau Aiman, yeah, you actually surprised that Valdez tak lepas ke C Yeah kan, Valdez the murder Yeah, that was quite a surprise, they don't like mid-table finish But that is how competitive Thailand punya scene is lah kan Thailand punya scene sangat-sangat competitive sampai Sampai the ones that you expect pun tak lepas Sangat competitive Even lagi competitive daripada kita Arguably mungkin lagi competitive daripada Indonesia juga, arguably Azamir Hilmi, ha, ada lagi tu, perfect uh. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go nombor satu, nombor dua Then kita debate about it lah eh Four Rivals ada lagi ni Oh, Wheel of Shikin Wheel of Shikin, dia bagi Dia bagi blessing dia pada Four Rivals Wow, interesting Okay, jap, letak ni dulu Evos Reborn and Four Rivals Wow, okay Ni game better ground Bila-bila masih boleh naik turun Ya, yeah, that's why that's, itu, itu memang betul Macam kita kata pada awal rancangan kan? Dia punya kebarang kalian dia is terlalu besar But, well That's why kita guna Hitmark Roda ke Shikinan uh, Wheel of Shikin uh, Untuk bantu kita buat prediction-prediction So, what do you guys think? Four Rivals ada dekat atas Boleh terima tak? Ketepikan unsur kroni uh, Malaysia Ketepikan unsur kroni Malaysia Korang rasa Four Rivals boleh ada dekat atas atau tak? Papa Mas, tak ada pula Tengok orang Thai komen Sini rasa bosan sebab tak ada Valdez Atau aku seorang je rasa Wing wing I know what you mean Sarcasm Wing wing Wing, I like the sarcasm Wing wing Kan I like the sarcasm Wing wing I mean, I don't know how to read Thai lah kan But I so no comment but maybe they're full support to whoever who masuk I don't know. Tapi Mama Are four rivals boleh top 1 kalau pemburu main dengan serius. <laughs> eh itu eh itu nganjing nama dia tu Are. Eh itu nganjing nama dia. So far boleh je terima setakan ni untuk four rivals. So you're taking four rivals lah kan. Evo Sribon nombor 2. Okay See you I love you. See you sangat sangat baik dengan aku. Dan, uh, but, uh, but kalau I have to ketepikan unsur kroni dekat sini lah kan I mean, I like Sinew, Sinew is nice and all that lah kan And then, uh, dia banyak wish kita orang masa kita PMPL uh, Dan aku balas the favor dengan dia and he respond very nicely juga So, but, sorry Sinew He was reborn, nombor dua uh, Gak bisa, not for me Uh, not for me. I think Evos Reborn is a mid table. Maybe a uh, above mid table lah. Maybe like a top 10. Maybe tempat-tempat yang macam ni lah kan. Maybe like 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 somewhat sini lah kan. But a number two for 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 Evos Reborn, uh, it's a bit uh lah for me. It's a bit uh for me. Because why? Orang okay lah. Orang tak ada lah struggle BTR lah kan. I mean a lot of attention ada dekat BTR for bottom four, but Diorang pun ada juga dekat Okay, kalau kita tak perform, kita pun akan out Those moments diorang So, for me, Evos Reborn Err uh, jugalah kan Ifah Mukmin, FT, thank you sebab sudi sharekan live stream ni So, it's ada dekat err uh, moment dekat situ juga But, okay, let's let's dengar pendapat korang pasal Four Rivals dengan Evos Reborn lah kan So, let's see Err uh, So, jaya. 
Okay, so Mikael Noraza rasa boleh jugalah sebab kemungkinan dia orang boleh perform. Okay, so you're saying four rivals boleh perform lah kan? Saiful Bari kata four rivals boleh ada kat situ kalau circle tak langsung lari jauh dengan dia orang. Okay, so harapan circle jugalah kan? Saiful punya pendapat. Hari tu pemburu main auto 360. You know what? I think that was like acah-acah jugalah kan? I I notice that one, I notice that one. It's quite acah-acah. So, masa tu, tu buat apa tau? Dia menang close quarters combat. And then, dia acah-acah 360 je. Macam, alah pemburu, come on lah! Acah-acah lah pula kan? Selamba je. Saya pun bari, if was this season tak nampak performance macam mana lagi. But for the weekdays, I think they will be in top 8. Yeah, I have a feeling juga top 8 lah kan? Sorry, Sinyu, but uh, I have that feeling juga top 8 juga. Uh, so Yin Chen, four rival walaupun first circle and third circle dia orang luar circle tapi sama akhir-akhir ada je dekat tengah. Ya, yeah, uh, it, it's it's the about the same tactical juga yang dia orang pernah buat masa MYSG juga. So, I don't think rotation wise dia orang tukar banyak sangat ataupun gameplay wise dia orang tukar banyak sangat. But I think uh, about four rivals, dia orang banyak individual improvement. Epi improve a lot. Pemburu daripada dulu aku memang jilat dia and uh, he still consistent. Reef maybe a bit kurang, but but that I won't say Reef kurang sangat sangat. Uh, mungkin Reef kurang menyelap because of orang macam Epi, orang macam Epu, orang macam pemburu. Orang step up the game so high that uh, Reef nampak macam daripada he is the high one dia dah jadi macam on par dengan semua semua yang lain. If you get what I mean lah, kan? Bukan aku kata Reef tak perform, Reef bagi aku still still doing good. Ah, uh, but teammate dia lain is like uh, dah up there dah, kan? Improvement yang kita ada, individual improvement yang kita ada for 4 Rivals on me. Faham-faham, 4 Rivals nombor 1 susah sikit. Top 8 achievable, nak jaga mental for 4 people only tu memang sangat-sangat susah. Aha, so Papa Mas is not convinced pasal 4 uh, Rivals nombor 1 lah kan. So you say top 8. Uh, okay, let, let, let's read the others first lah kan. Tapi Glenn Melvin kata, agree 4 Rivals have the potential to win the league. Wow, win the league terus, Glenn. Okay, let's kita tengok yang lain-lain dulu. Pendapat orang lain pasal 4 Rivals and also Evo's Reborn. So, Izzat teringat masa pemburu time PPMYC Season 4, tahu-tahu top 2 pas tu tersorok kat celah lering batu sama situasi macam Epu juga masa kat C. Oh yeah, masa, so dia heal sampai dia boleh dapat like second place tu lah kan. Second ke third place? Third place lah kot. Boleh jadi 4 tapi one more second and then dia dapat third place. Macam okey lah tu. So, Ryan Kiss, you don't think four rivals can be top one because they not really consistent gameplay if there's some pressure. Okay, so Ryan Kiss tak, not feeling not feeling a number one for four rivals. Initial four player, no problem. Tentang mental ke tak sebab team lain bukannya rotate sangat player. Maybe because team lain don't need to rotate player. I'm just saying, uh, Devil's Advocate lah kan. Mungkin team lain don't need to rotate player. Maybe. Okay. Mikael Norazza, EVOS may be top 8 sebab kat weekday dia orang tak perform sangat. EVOS may be top 8. Uh, yeah, I also think it's a top 8 finish. Like EVOS... Hmm. Why so serious? Pendapat pasal BTR kat weekday dia orang ambil slot je ke Super Weekend. Kat Super Weekend je performance dia orang, kita tengok and judge performance dia orang. Okay, okay. Why so serious? Dia dia pun yakin dengan BTR. Let's put that. Walaupun aku tak rasa the weekday is dia orang main-main lah kan. Dia orang betul. Dia orang going for it. It's just that, you know, things happen. But, kita tengok the week that weekend ni macam mana. E-boss kena jaga red face supaya tak kena culik dulu. Kalau tak merah muka dia kan? Tiba kan? Gotta be careful with that. Jang sadar okay ke John Perry? Um, definitely under pressure lah because uh, BTR punya fans tak ada ubat juga. Uh, Glenn Malvin, you think 4 rivals should play that Baba gameplay because they have that close combat advantage? Yes, I think so also. I think four rivals kalau dia main baba dia orang akan strong. Tapi tapi kan first game today I think akan main chill dulu. Because why? Infinity akan step up. I expect Infinity to step up. Mungkin Fisk step up. mungkin Infinity step up. Ah uh, Xavier mungkin step up. Tapi so you have a lot of teams yang boleh step up lagi. So I would say let's let's calm down dulu untuk dia orang punya ni untuk at least first first few games kan. Siapa yang malam ni ada live kat PMP lah. Tak tahu info, tak tengok sebelum ni sebab VIP tak ada. Ya, yeah. malam ni ada lah. Pukul 6 nanti, Steven. Uh, Papa Mas, Epo pun boleh tahan up dia punya performance masa CN3. Masa ada Iron Pro, we consider dia as sub je. 
Yeah, but now he is like basically he's also telling that uh walaupun semuanya walaupun ada sub, but the sub is as good as the main player. So all five of them memang memang kuat lah. Ikhwan Darish, apa punya komen tentang PUBG lelaki spin haram di mata agama? Ooh. This is a totally different topic. Can, can we get to that as a side topic lepas kita habis ni lah kan? Kita wrap up dan kita pergi pada tu Ikhwan. Okay, kita kita hutang topik tu sekejap lah eh. Evos may be on mid table. Okay, so Riot, I think so as well. Cowboy masuk BTR ke? Tak adalah, Syarul. Cowboy dekat Evos report lah. Next season, Jans keluar BTR, John Teddy. I don't know. Let's see what happens to this season dulu lah. Baru kita boleh keluar like speculation. Kita tengok macam mana. But okay. So, kita dah dengar pendapat korang-korang semua. Four rivals for me, honestly, I don't think it's the number one. But I think top eight tu aku macam boleh terima. Tapi kalau kita berster- kita nak bersetuju dengan uh, uh, Will of Chicken, I think kalau Will of Chicken mengatakan number one is because dia orang punya peningkatan individu sangat-sangat ketara and that brings them to number one as a surprise number one. So yeah, Evo's Reborn number two pun I think is a bit too high. I think it's going to be number eight. Tapi kalau kita nak bersetuju dengan Evo's Reborn is basically... I mean, I have no explanation for it lah kan. I guess it's just that they don't just step, they don't just suddenly perform lah. That's all I can say. <laughs> Sorry, senior. <laughs> kan? Why so serious? Chemistry 4 rivals kat sea line macam makin solid daripada PMP MYG. Kita tengok sebelum ni. Go, 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 Malaysia. Ah, okay. So, why so serious? Yakin dengan 4 rivals kat sea. Dia yakin dengan chemistry dia orang. Which is, aku tak deny benda tu. I think memang chemistry dia orang is, is, is pretty... Getting better and better, individual performance pun getting better and better. So, um, I think it's it's four rival season, juga lah. But whether they all boleh win ni kita, it's hard. It's hard for team life pun sangat sangat kuat juga. But top five four rivals kinda boleh, top eight definitely boleh. TS top three for sure, Glen Melvin. So so Glen Melvin letak TS as the top three. Okay. I mean, Paris, Evos Reborn tak main PMP Indonesia pun still not bad. Ya, yeah, orang macam... Uh, tapi diorang, aku boleh bagi tahu korang lah kan sebab aku pun in contact dengan diorang. Diorang masa PMP Indonesia, diorang pun main tournament. Tournament lain lah kan. Tournament lain diorang and diorang pun ada main screen juga. So, diorang still keep keep up to the pace of of the game juga dengan masuk, dengan buat diorang punya tournament, dengan main tournament-tournament dekat Indo and all that juga pun ada. Oh Syari, TS pun boleh tahan kuat. Orang Nabrak pun dah boleh defend. That's good. So sebelum ni dekat MYSG, masalah TS adalah defend. Dia orang kena langgar je, dia orang selalu kalah. So it's good that dia orang improve on that area lah. Apa-apa mas, sini ni kita dapat rasa any Malaysian team pun boleh dapat chicken. Memang best. I know right? It's not like last season. Malaysian sangat-sangat struggle. But this season, Malaysian memang takkan dipandang rendah lah. Memang orang akan look at, start look at Malaysian teams and go like, Yep. Malaysian teams. Yep. Yep. Oh, by the way, tadi, tadi, oh, baru aku terfikir lah kan. You know why I didn't think about that. Tadi ada orang kata pasal, oh, English caster cakap pasal, um, oh, tu PNWI. Tak, tak ada apa. Forget about it. Um, Rangis, you think MS Chomburi will be top one this super weekend? MS Chomburi, I won't be surprised. I think they already ada the quality untuk ada dekat top one. I think so. I think there are the quality untuk top one lah. So I, I won't be too surprised lah. Amir Farish, tak sila kamu TS ku main tabrak for zone if jumper IGL. Ya, yeah, jumper kalau IGL dia akan main dengan lebih agresif. Tapi kalau Matoy dia akan main dengan lebih smart. Dia akan main dengan lebih bijak. So there are the dua, dua um, IGL link yang berbeza lah. Saya pun berapi. Tapi MS Chomburi really consistent on the weekdays. Ya. Yeah. So, aku akan letak MS Chomburi as one of the top 3 contender lah, for me personally. Top 3 contender juga. Muhammad Sharif, Emily Eggs lah. Thank you jadi follower yang baru. Oh, Emily Eggs eh. Staff baru. Uh. Uh, Muhammad Sharif, tapi haram Super Weekend ni tak banyak berubah dari permainan Thai. I think Thai still akan strong lah. I mean, nombor 1, nombor 2 pun is a Thai team lah kan. I think Thai team masih akan mengganas lah for, for this Super Weekend. Amir Syafi, secret kalau jumper hidup last circle, confirm chicken. Uh, dah tengok banyak kali macam tu. Ya, yeah, jumper is a good survival lah. Banyak kali, especially macam kita ingat dekat Mirama lah kan. Uh, dia orang too soon, tapi jumper survive sampai nombor 2. So, he's able to do that. Muan Syarif, thank you for the share. 
Dia jadi follower baru lepas tu share Thank you so much Kan uh, Okay So We want to go Sedikit kepada the, the side topic kita lah kan So uh, Okay how, how should I start this one How should I start this one So kita pergi pada side topic kita So yang ni kita sort of that, like dah wrap up lah kan So kita pergi pada side topic kita sekejap Okay, what is this? Oh, aku punya, aku punya bag kat sini oh, Tinggi sampai macam tu eh Okay, so side topic kita sekejap lah eh So as a visual aid lah kan So kalau visual aid Bagi aku buka this thing dulu uh, Aku tahu benda ni tengah hangat di diperkatakan sekarang ni lah kan So let, let's open a visual aid Yang ni, yang ni is aku punya bag by the way so, Dia dah bertimbun dah dekat sini Okay, let me open sekejap. Sekejap eh guys. Let's see. Is at this place. Sekejap eh. Okay, kejap kejap. Let me scroll and cari the post. Alright. Okay, we gonna go here. Yep. Ah, uh, Rangis, what do I think about Tony K punya gameplay? Ah, uh, tadi kita dah bincang pasal benda tu. Actually, I think Tony K is underperforming for me. I mean, the hype and all that dia tak padan dengan orang dia lah. So, I think it's uh, underperforming for me lah kan. Ah. Uh, Amir Syafiq, TS squad di Miramar tapi Irangga tak dapat survive lama Rotate dah ok, cuma kalah fight Kalau boleh konsisten dekat Irangga, maybe TS boleh champion Ya, yeah, yeah, because Irangga will be the most played game kan? But we'll see, Amir Rod I mean, there are the, there are the potential untuk Untuk ni lah kan? Untuk konsisten So, let's see what's going to happen uh, Super Weekend will be the real test lah Apa pun aku banyak parking terdapat pasal Lepas habis Super Weekend Because Super Weekend is the, the The weekend yang orang akan paling out, all out lah kan um, ya, 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 ya. Amir Faiz mungkin setengah tim tak nak main terlalu serius Sebab tak nak keluar strategi maybe Ya, yeah, that is aku punya teori Because uh, yang penting adalah top 16 masa weekday Itu je, itu yang paling penting sekali Yang lain semua tak kisah sangat So Super Weekend will be the best ukuran of semua tim Okay, pasal benda ni lah kan Since kita pun buka komen dekat sini ya. nak, nak kita tengok Sama ada komen So ada beberapa orang obviously master ramai kita pun kenal jadi dia dah utarakan bla 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 okey a uh, Rini terima kasih atas pencerahan terhadap isu zaman ni Rini ni orang e-sport juga by the way dia harap pihak mufti dan pihak berkuasa yang berkaitan dapat bekerjasama dengan game developer ini bagi memastikan proses ekonomi game tersebut di Malaysia adalah mengikut syariah kerana ia pasti menguntungkan ramai pihak dan meletakkan Malaysia dalam negara Islam yang mendukung keseimbangan kemajuan melalui syariah harap juga yang mana-mana game developer tidak lagi menggunakan sistem yang sama ter- terang atau kabur ialah judi demi keuntungan semata-mata ada banyak game yang berjaya mengalami keuntungan melalui cara yang halal dan munasabah manakala maka tiada alasan untuk mana-mana pihak untuk mempertahankan ke- sebuah sistem ekonomi game yang berteraskan judi ok Chico pun ada Jeremy Liao ni pun uh, orang Indonesia aja ramai juga lah kan tak tidur pun ada ok tu semua terima kasih terima kasih Okay, daripada Ashraf Hafiz ni, dia kata kalau dekat barat, kerajaan diorang siap desak lagi sampai company tu buat apa-apa elemen perjudian lu pause dalam game. Kalau tak buat juga, diorang akan kena tindakan undang-undang atau kena ban. Lasas company besar tu terpaksa buat elemen judi, lu pause dan gantikan dengan beli terus. Contoh, daripada kau main tikam, okay lah, contoh tu kita tahulah kan. Harap kerajaan dapat push company ni ke arah-arah tu, okay. Aina Madia cakap benda ni dah salah Masih ramai mungkin kata banyak lagi benda lain haram Kenapa nak sibuk dengan UC PUBG juga Okay hmm. Iba Muisin terima kasih kepada mereka yang memberi ilmu kepada kami Dan juga amarah atau nasihat untuk yang tidak berpengetahuan Sejujurnya ini merupakan peringatan bagi yang dah tahu Dan juga kepada yang tidak tahu Bayangkanlah 
kamu tahu apa tu judi dari segi fizikal tapi tidak kepada alam maya akhirat nanti kita dah nah, 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 nah. okey okey alright uh, good enough for me okey tapi dia tengok dekat ruangan komen sekejap um ambil um, Paris stop buat tiket-tiket jual terus je okey jual bundle easy macam loot crate FIFA apa buat okey so uh, of course i am not i'm not uh, that religious uh, in the first place lah kan tak tak kisahlah apa religion pula kan uh, judi is is mm, it's never good kan um, but i think this is quite quite straightforward punya lah benda so if you ask me it's, pertama sekali benda ni agak straightforward lah kan tapi sebelum tu Muhammad Izwan thank you jadi follower baru dah tak boleh buka pack FIFA lah macam ni Izwan yeah actually it's the same concept kalau kita tengok Uh, FIFA punya pack ke ataupun spin UC ke ataupun Free Fire punya Free Fire pun konsep spin apa lagi lah eh mostly is mobile game lah banyak mobile game is konsep spin uh, mobile legends punya diamond pun spin Pro Stars tak spin Pro Stars beli AOV is aku tak sure aku dah lama tak be- aku tak pernah beli barang kat AOV tapi I think Uh, mobile Legends ada beli ada spin dia ada dua-dua uh, spin tu like more for the premium punya benda lah kan yang transformers and all that Warif tak ada Warif is beli uh, Marvel Super War tak pernah uh, Marvel Super War is beli saya ingat aku CODM is beli ya yeah, Genshin Impact is spin apa-apa mas ya yeah, Genshin Impact spin Okay lah, those are the common games lah kan. I'm just looking at, at my phone. Pokemon Unite is beli. I'm just looking at my phone. Uh, so yeah, those are the those are the top games lah kan. Apex Legend dulu is beli. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, the concept is sama lah kan with the loot crate and all that. Apex PC is loot crate if I'm not mistaken. I forget dah, lupa lah. So dia ada tiket-tiket sikit Amir Rok. Yeah, I think ada sikit lah. Ada lah, macam ada yang beli, ada yang ni lah kan. Dia macam Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends pun ada yang beli, ada yang tikam. Biasanya benda yang tikam tu is the premium punya item. Okay, but anyway, benda ni agak quite straightforward bagi aku lah kan. Dan sebenarnya benda ni... Okay, let, let's not tipu diri kita lah kan. Let's not tipu diri kita. Benda ni adalah kita memang dah tahu itu adalah judi. Right? Let's not let's not, let's not not cheat ourselves. Kita jangan tipu diri kita. Right? Kalau contoh kita grind sendiri buat objektif tu dapatkan pack macam ah kalau macam tu okey lah Izwan sebab konsep dia adalah so aku pun dah baca konsep dia pemahaman dia macam mana uh, dan juga penjelasan daripada uh, ni lah kan like the whole penjelasan dekat sini konsep dia adalah um, kalau melibatkan kerugian kepada kita disclaimer lah aku bukan orang yang uh, that level of agama lah kan but aku pun aku pun baca ni lepas aku hadam sendiri Disclaimer So konsep dia adalah Selagi dia tak melibatkan kerugian pada kita Then it's okay Kan So macam let's say is one Kalau kita grind sendiri Kita buat objektif ke Macam game Certain games kita buat objektif Kita kumpul-kumpul-kumpul Lepas tu baru kita spin Then that was okay Sebab tak melibatkan kerugian Wang But uh, Correct me if I'm wrong lah Anybody lah kan Yang mungkin lebih Lebih arif pasal benda ni But uh, I think that dia buka melibatkan kerugian for me so kerugian daripada segi wang especially lah kan so dia tak melibatkan kerugian wang especially correct me if I'm wrong lah kan Mohd Izzah tengok pada share so I think in general that is okay sebab dia tak ada melibatkan tapi kalau melibatkan kerugian wang kepada kita di mana benda tu boleh because because why you know so aku hubung kaitkan let's say dengan uh, agama lain lah kan So there are the seven deadly sins. Yeah, correct or not? Seven, kan? Let me let me just fact check that one. Ah, uh, pasal benda-benda ni aku kena fact check sikit. Seven deadly sins, yeah. Seven deadly sins. Okay. Eh. Okay, seven deadly sins. Okay. So dalam agama yang lain ada benda yang dipanggil sebagai seven deadly sins. So antara benda yang dalam seven deadly sins maksudnya uh, tujuh dosa terbesar. Ah uh, uh, kalau aku translate kan is tujuh do- dosa terbesar. So ya tu lebih kepada Christianity. And concept dia pun sama juga. Dia orang pun ada tujuh dosa yang terbesar which is antaranya adalah 
uh, antaranya adalah greed antaranya adalah greed yang kita greedy lah greedy punya greed lah kan so uh, kalau aku hubungkan konsep dia pun adalah sama di mana kenapa judi diharapkan adalah sebab bila dia melibatkan judi orang boleh terju- terjerumus ke arah greed kan? bila terjerumus ke arah greed dan benda tu akan melalaikan, benda tu akan mengakibatkan masalah-masalah sosial kita pun tahu lah kan secara moralnya so sebab tu aku faham kenapa benda ni uh, benda ni penting juga lagi-lagi yang kebanyakan yang terlibat dengan ni adalah mungkin uh, kebanyakan user mungkin uh, betul kan if I'm wrong lah kan adalah uh, anak muda yang yang tak yang tak reti kawal diri lagi kan ok pada zaman aku dulu kan aku orang tua lah kan zaman aku dulu ada benda panggil tikam so tikam tu kita pergi dekat kedai kedai runcit ke kan kita tarik like, like ada satu satu benda I think papa masih tahu punya lah ni kan ada satu papan dekat situ lepas tu dia ada letak macam stiker-stiker something like stiker-stiker lah kan and then kita tarik stiker and then kita gosok that thing kita gosok ataupun kita buka that thing uh, boleh benar hadiah ataupun dapat terima kasih je boleh menang hadiah ataupun boleh menang duit is either one lah kan so benda tu adalah uh, kalau kita ingat masa zaman kita kecil benda tu lah kan kita every time habis sekolah kita akan macam oh tengok poket kalau ada macam duit lebih ada 10 sen 20 sen benda tu murah je 10 sen 20 sen pergi dan kita akan spendkan balance kita dekat benda tu betul tak we have done that before kita pernah buat benda tu ok lah kita siapa yang tua tu pernah buat benda tu pernah buat benda tu Papa Mas pernah buat kan right But we are, we were kids kita kita kanak-kanak kita tak tahu kita tak tahu benda tu so kita just seronok kita buat jelah but sekarang bila kita besar kita reflect benda tu actually kita banyak rugi duit dekat situ daripada menang so so that is uh, benda tu telah uh, secara tak langsungnya melalaikan kita lah kan so benda-benda yang melalaikan generally is uh, tidak di tidak disarankan dalam I think mana-mana agama pun lah kan I'm very sure agama semua ajar benda yang baik-baik je So especially benda yang melalaikan benda-benda ni tell me I'm very sure it's it's that. So so that is the thing. So so kalau kita ambil that concept tu sekarang dah tak ada benda tu lah kan. Sekarang ni benda tu berubah ke alam digital iaitu benda ni. So kalau kita ambil konsep tu yeah actually if you kind of think about it benda tu boleh melalaikan anak-anak. Kan benda tu boleh melalaikan anak-anak. Lagi sekali lagi sekarang ni top up boleh beli top up dekat 7-Eleven atau top up uh, Google credit lepas tu ni lah kan tak semestinya guna kad kredit mak, mak ayah yang boleh lagi kontrol kan so this thing ok so Izzat gotta go ok see you Izzat uh, ada point dalam ni yang lain lupa is that bukan PUBG yang haram but a portion of mechanics yang haram as considered ya yeah, it's, the, it's the mechanics tu je the game tu tak haram the game tu I think it's fine lah kan Yeah, so the list is pride, envy, gluttony, envy, rough, greed, sloth. Thank you, Papa Mas. Actually, kalau banyak tengok movie, also you will know this thing lah, kan? Seven Deadly Sins. Basil, so, kalau kita beli account daripada orang lain, boleh ke? Okay, Basil. Uh, sebenarnya beli account, beli jual, beli account, jual account, joki adalah haram di sisi PUBG Mobile. Uh, but thank you for the share Adalah haram di sisi PUBG Mobile Tidak boleh jual beli account Tidak boleh joki Sebenarnya Haram di sisi PUBG Mobile So korang Sebab tu korang tengok pro player tak terlibat dengan benda-benda macam tu Joki semua tu korang tengok pro player tak akan terlibat uh, Papa Mas tu main masa kecil-kecil Bayar 20 sen boleh dapat RM5 Zaman tak tahu apa-apa Tapi kalau parents tahu memang kena rotan Ya yeah, because it's parents obviously they don't tahu it's judi lah kan So they don't like Judi kan So, for sure dia orang takkan sarankan Dulu kecil dah menikah masuk 50% pusing-pusing mesin dapat cincin Ah, uh, That one Kind of like that juga lah kan Kind of like that Ah, uh, So, so it's the same concept Just that benda-benda macam tu yang pusing-pusing telur tu semua lah kan Dah 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 di Dah, dah di transit kepada ni As adults mungkin mungkin lah kan tapi as adults ada juga aku kenal orang yang judi sampai tak ingat dunia sampai uh, jelah tak ingat dunia and pinjam duit kawan and all that sampai mengabaikan keluarga dan tanggungjawab pun ada juga aku ada kenal orang macam tu As adults mungkin kita boleh sebagai orang dewasa mungkin kita boleh kawal lebih sikit lah kan 
like that's like for me pun uh, kalau aku spin pun aku fun fun je aku tahu macam mana kawan diri aku aku tak ada macam oh setiap bulan aku masuk seribu ringgit tak spin nah not for me lah kan um, but impact dia adalah lebih kepada anak-anak yang belum lagi uh, ready untuk benda-benda macam ni tapi you, you see as a hukum lah kan you cannot say oh umur ini ke ni baru boleh umur itu nak mudahkan cerita semua je because why uh, orang dewasa pun ada juga lah lah because of benda-benda macam ni buka border terus pergi Genting I know right I saw that one juga yeah I mean I want to go Genting juga I actually have never been to the Genting Castle so far eh I've been masuk tengok-tengok but I never play because I don't feel like like I know that my money is going to burn <laughs> so even like for me pun uh, religiously I don't have yeah but um, but morally bukan morally lah kan personally lah kan Like I know that if I go the tak dekat Genting, it's like oh, it's gonna it's gonna play. Kalau aku letak pun it's like it's for fun lah. I I put it for and then it's gonna be discipline like lima puluh ringgit, lima puluh ringgit, whatever it is lah kan. But okay lah. Coming back to this lah kan. As 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 a as a akta or as a hukum or whatever you put it, it's easier to just put it. Okay, semua orang no, tidak disarankan no, because dia melalaikan. Even adult pun ada jadi macam tu. Uh, Bazir, sebab tu kau masa UC beli card room je Buy one dengan member Sebab tahu tiga-tiga memang susah Dah dapat yang last time guna kredit je nah. Apa yang fulus? Uh, apa yang yang fulus? Yang fulus? Eh, oh, that one's wrong nah, Lain tu uh, Lapar, kena lapar je Ya, aku lapar Lepas ni aku nak pergi makan Tapi aku biasa uh, Aku rasa siap-siap pergi studio terus Lepas tu makan dekat studio Lagi, lagi settle down dekat studio Um, that, 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 that. Kenapa Tencel wujudkan UC? Alif-alif Well UC tu tak salah Bagi aku lah Bagi uh, How I see lah kan UC tu sendiri tak salah UC tu adalah jenis uh, UC tu adalah jenis um, uh, Siapa dia? UC tu adalah jenis uh, Mata wang Dalam dalam game So bagi aku The UC is okay It's just that the mechanics tu is Aku faham itu boleh melalaikan Um Uh, especially yang tak bersedia menerimanya lagi lah yang yang anak-anak yang tak bersedia untuk menerimanya lagi kan mas kalau Tesla letak F4 I 300 key UC contoh at least kita menang memang boleh dapat ya yeah, konsep macam Valorant lah kan Valorant is upfront beli uh, tak ada tak ada benda which which aku pun lagi suka like like if upfront beli even though it's a bit expensive lah kan upfront beli aku pun lagi suka macam macam Warren pun upfront aku beli Valorant upfront aku beli aku suka benda tu aku beli So I know that okay, this the amount I'm going to spend, and that's what I'm going to get. So macam okay lah, fine. I I kind of kind of like that. But many, but ten cent palau. Eh, ah, uh, itu itu topik lain dah tu. But okay lah. I mean, you gotta go now. Stay healthy, stay safe. Okay, Ryan Giggs, I'll see you. Aku pun dah sampai hujung hujung rancangan by the way. Um, but overall, I would say that yeah. I mean, this is this is uh. Mungkin tiba masa untuk pihak berkuasa to 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 look at uh, a bad a uh, a uh, um, a model yang lebih neutral. Kan? Okay, I'm just I'm just going to summarize ni lah kan. Mungkin tiba masa untuk pihak berkuasa untuk cari model yang lebih neutral, yang lebih sesuai uh, untuk semua semua semua. And aku rasa tak rugi pun kalau kalau orang tukar the model pun. I think it's going to be still okay untuk orang. The game will still be popular. Orang still akan beli barang-barang dia and all that. So I think um, untuk mengikut peredaran zaman then I think it's going to be okay untuk move away daripada gacha pay concept lah Ya, yeah, science that is called gacha pay concept Untuk move away daripada gacha pay concept Okay, Pidah Hassan, I will see you Kalau tikam susah dapat macam panda Oh yeah, kan But, yeah, it's susah dapat is one thing But I think is But you you see lah kan, ada juga sebab kenapa dia letak 16 ke atas baru boleh main Sepatutnya lah kan So, you you see juga So dia dia ada hubung kaitkan with a few things. Ya, yeah, tapi kalau UC tu mufti ada kata perjudian, adakah pajakan dilarang di Malaysia? I don't think pajakan dilarang kat Malaysia. So bagi I, ni pendapat peribadi lah. PUBG tu tak PUBG bukan pun bukan sal, PUBG tu tak salah. I mean this just the mechanics tu yang tak mengikut piawaian. Kan, okay, that's how I see it. So I don't think it's about the PUBG. It's about the mechanics. 
So kalau the mechanics tu uh, di diubah, then I think it's going to be okay. Kan. Kau tak set up band je siapa tikap ah. Tak set up band je siapa tikap. Alele apa tu? <laughs> apa alele cuba cakap ni? Tak sah dia open system. Kenapa dia orang nak ban? Dia orang uh, so ah huh? okay. But dia ni macam. Anyway disclaimer aku bukanlah ahli pasal benda-benda macam ni lah kan. Aku pun mengikut apa yang aku baca, apa yang aku faham, apa the logical thing that um, ada dekat kepala aku lah kan. So I just share based on pendapat. One more thing aku just nak side topic sikit lah kan. Benda ni aku pernah debate with some people. I pendapat aku adalah forex crypto is cheap. Don't kill me for it. Mungkin ada peminat kripto dekat sini ataupun peminat forex lah kan. I, this is a pendapat peribadi. I think it has the same concept. So, because you are putting money for something that you don't know what the future is. Kan? Tikam tu bukan bug atau terpati pun kan? Ya, yeah, it's not. It is the algorithm. Kalau Tesla buat macam Pajit China, serious best. Semua main beli je. Pajit China beli je. I think it's spin juga kalau tak silap, kalau tak silap lah kan, kalau tak silap. So, so yeah, I mean, I did ask this with some people and then diorang pun dah main. But I I get the jawapan of like, kind of like denial punya jawapan. So, I'm I'm still open for debate benda ni sebenarnya. Kalau Forex dengan main crypto, is it, is it, uh, is it judi ataupun tak? Uh, I'm, I'm open for debate benda ni. I'm open for debate because I want to know bukan aku nak kecam siapa-siapa yang main tak I don't care pun itu 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 dia masing-masing no tapi aku nak tahu I'm curious as a person kan as a person aku curious adakah itu kategori je because pendapat aku yes tapi it's is I don't know I, I mean I, I want to debate with somebody on this kalau ada kalau ada somebody willing to strongly debate dah boleh debate dengan baik I'm willing to listen Nampak motor terbang macam mana? Uh, itu itu topik lain lah tu. Okay, ada yang main beli. Macam BTS Zazie beli skin M4 Pink. Oh, okay. So, aku dah lama tak, tak buka bagi China. So, I don't really know that. Ada QPI Impact Asap tu. Okay. So, kalau ada, ada lah tu. Uh, I mean, aku dah tak buka bagi China dah lama dah. So, I, I, don't, I don't really give, pay attention. Not like aku perlu pun. Bukan nak backup tapi takut kecam. Ha? Bukan nak backup tapi takut kecam. Okay, rasa alih-alih pergi kepada topik lain which is bug lah kot. But that is a topik lain. Bapa apa was entahlah. Ada yang kata Forex tu macam buat educated guess. But purely luck punya konsep. Kena ada ilmu. Okay. So, it's it's debatable. I I would I would like to debate about that lah. Like, I mean, okay. To be fair, I don't have that deep knowledge about Forex and crypto. I I've tried it before. I know the concept. That's why I come up with that. Oh, ni is I'm gambling my money away. Kan, juga. And for forex and also crypto macam ni. I feel like I'm so I I I tried putting a small amount just to cuba the process like what is it about lah kan. I feel like without put a, the amount of money, I feel like I'm gambling my money away. Then they macam I don't know whether I'm going to get back my money kita. So that's why I feel like ni ni. But yeah, I'm open to debate pasal benda tu lah. Jadi tapi buat macam apa di Korea? Guna box je dapat skin tapi tak keluar deh. Mungkin tapi dia orang pun kena cari keuntungan juga aja. So what is the mechanic tu nanti kita tengoklah. Sekali beli box. Beli box and then spin. So it's still like indirectly. I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay. But okay, anyway dah sampai hujung-hujung kita punya show ni. Uh, so let's just wrap up dengan this uh, wheel of chicken lah kan. Okay, aku tutup screen lah kan. Let's just wrap up dengan the wheel of chicken balik. Uh, final imbasan untuk wheel of chicken as kita back to the screen. Cuma forex nampak was-was. Wah, so, dia short term letak dia bukan long term investment. Papa was. Okay. Uh, it's interesting tau. As long as dia dia tak. I don't know lah. I, I want to debate about this lah. I, I need to find someone who like. Ada deep knowledge of this. I, okay, I have to admit I don't have deep knowledge. Enough. Like I'm also surprised because I just try and then like I come up with my own idea. I'm willing kalau kalau ada dua individual satu is 
deep knowledge and says this is Judy. Satu lagi is deep knowledge and says this is not Judy. Put them together, kita debate. I'm willing to do that. To do that show. Kan? I'm willing to do that show because I want to know juga. Kumpul silver crate sampai 10 baru dapat spin. Ah, uh, Macam tu tak apa lah Jihad. Kenapa dia orang tak main PKND alih-alih? Tak tahu lah. Mungkin dia orang rasa PKND still tak balance lagi untuk competitive. PKND pun baru release so mungkin dia orang cari balancing lagi untuk PKND. Tak tahu lah mungkin next season kot. Dia tengok macam mana lah. Sekarang ni dah tengah-tengah season susah untuk dia masukkan lagi. So, we'll see. Mungkin next season, mungkin tak. We'll see. Tapi aku rasa kita akan ke arah PUBG China di mana atau PUBG PC di mana hanya ada dua map akan dimainkan lah. This is just perjangkaan perjangkaan masa panjang. Dan mana dia orang dapat ID password? Ah, ha? mana dia orang dapat ID password? Buka room nanti ada ID password lah, Alim. Okay. Apa pun dah lama minat SCPBG. Mantap je lah, Cak. Uh. Apa apa muas. Um, habis Super Weekend baru kita boleh dapat idea how everything perform. Yeah, Super Weekend is the best ukuran lah. So let's let's hold our real pendapat until habis Super Weekend. Habis. But day after day kita akan take this as a comparison juga lah nanti. Uh, just for fun, just for fun. So esok kita akan buat the comparison. Okay, so talking about esok and all that lah kan. Saya pun bari, rasa nanti buat uh, terma FPP mungkin balik tak macam sebelum ni. I think kita akan ada tu lah one of these days lah. Mungkin next season. Tapi dia tak akan full on. Kalau ada pun it's going to be like 50-50 lah. It's going to be like uh, mungkin ada game uh, ada game TPP, ada game FPP. Dia tak rasa macam dia akan full on dulu lah. Kenapa box kacau draw spot BTR? Box gaming tak main Alif. So... Uh, Box, I assume it's box gaming lah kot. Box gaming tak main Alif, dekat scene. Papa Wan, sekarang ni masih meraba-raba lagi. Harapkan kesikinan. <laughs> Number 6 go up right? I know right? Tu jawapan kroni tu. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, okay dah berapa banyak kali dah kan sebetulnya dah end. So anyway, so again recap ni adalah dia dan untuk siapa-siapa yang fikir pasal map tu uh, Hari ni kita akan main 5 map, sepanjang 3 hari ni main 5 map, 5 map, 5 map 15 map akan dimainkan, itu adalah susunan map sama untuk setiap hari Jihad, uh, SCPPG ada potensi besar beat team luar macam BTR Ace uh, dan lain-lain Cuma trust the process, good luck apa-apa tournament and scrim, I mean thank you Jihad um, tournament PPG next is pada hari ni berapa hari bulan ya? Eh? 15 Is pada Ujung minggu depan Ujung minggu depan ada tournament uh, Kita invited is a tournament by uh, SPRM So yeah All the best Sepatutnya diorang nak buat offline tau Tapi lepas perbincangan lanjut diorang tak jadi buat offline Kalau tak actually uh, Korang boleh datang jumpa player lah Tapi yeah Tak jadi dah offline plan, tukar pada online Sebelum si apa poem, ah, tu semua kes, saya kisah sebelum balik So, tu dah tak kisah sangat dah Dah lama dah semua kes, saya kisah tu But anyway, so ni lah dia, so kita tengok adakah sama atau tidak Okay, so for my next stream punya jadual Kalau balik awal and ada TI yang menarik, malam ni I will do a TI punya maybe a watch party again Ah, uh, Tapi uh, kalau tak, then tak adalah. Kalau tak sempat, dia tak sempat lah. Kita tengok macam mana. Hopefully tak ada sidai-sidai lagi. And then, uh, untuk post show tak boleh sin. Kita akan buat esok. Uh, esok kita boleh buat pada pukul 1 petang lah macam tu. Kita boleh buat pada pukul 1 petang. And then, untuk those feature comment dengan feature comment atau feature soalan macam biasa akan up dekat Insta story. So, korang boleh follow Instagram dekat sini. Kalau korang perlukan link, korang boleh tengok dekat ruangan deskripsi pun boleh ada juga lah. So, yeah. So, yep, it will be that will be the short term plan untuk sekarang. Dapatkan top 1 doa akan doa kami mengiringi. I mean, thank you Jia. Thank you. Thank you Jia. Thank you. Nanti kalau jumpa player stream macam putri semua bagilah kata-kata macam tu dekat dia jugaklah eh. Papa Mas SPRM so okay. Bukan tanam cuci-cuci dia. Ha <laughs> Oh, bukan 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 SPRM kot. You know what fun fact lah kan? Tambah sikit. For, so I'll be casting for that tournament juga. They, 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 they invited me. And a few other caster lah kan. Kita semua kena go through taklimat SPRM. And then diorang, cak, diorang bagi taklimat berkenaan dengan uh, rasuah and diorang punya 
uh, benda-benda dia orang lah kan it's like wow and it's wajib lah we are wajib to see through the taklimat wow it's like first time I hear this kind of taklimat <laughs> padahal I thought I come to cast je rupanya kena kena dua taklimat sebab dia orang nak kita explain masa kita cast tu what is SPRM punya um, punya benda-benda lah uh, pasal gejala rasuah and all that lah kan nanti masa dekat dekat uh, dekat cast nanti so yeah that's dia orang punya dia orang punya thing lah Okay, Jihad. I'll see you, Jihad. Itu fun fact apa tu? Eh, tak nampak sangat. But okay, Alif. But anyway, so aku off dekat sini dulu. Aku nak tukar baju, nak pergi mandi and all that. Yeay, dah ada air! Nak pergi mandi, tukar baju and all that. Kau pun tak tak kekalkan mood yang lama. Uh, tak pasti mood lama yang mana. Tapi, okay. Mungkin kita boleh bincang tu pada next stream lah kan. Sebab nak, nak keluar dah tukar baju semua. Um, so, okay. Anyway, thank you, Alif. Alif, uh, Jihad, Papa Muas. Uh, thank you Saiful Bahri uh, Thank you kepada semua-semua yang menonton Jumat Tabim Mama Ali should still be around Thank you juga And uh, Yep, that will be all for today Dan some of the short plan dah bagi tahu, Short term plan dah bagi tahu. So I will see you okay? So Alif Alif See you juga Okay Okay bye bye everybody Semua jaga diri Dah ada air ke Saiful? Ya, rumah aku dah ada air Dah masalah perdana dah ada air Baru je ada tadi Lepas bangun tidur pukul 11 lebih macam tu ada air Ya yeah, ada ada so, okay guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, nanti kita jumpa dengan next stream lah, okay? Talk later, Papa Muas. Uh, see you. Jangan lupa PMPL pukul 6 nanti eh. Pukul 6 PMPL. Alright? Jumpa nanti. Ta-ta!